Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Hello, so good to see you all again. New people, people from other streams. Just so happy to be here. Um, I forgot to change around this ref, but I mean, maybe it's a sign that we should start off with a bit of democracy. Because originally I was just going to be like, oh, let's just do parfait because, you know, I said so. But how about, okay, we leave this up to a vote. Early birds, I want you to chuck out the cookies that you like, I'll add four of them into a poll and then we'll draw whichever one gets picked. But we'll keep this poll quite short. Um, I also might need some time to, you know, get the sprite up on the screen. So I'm seeing pumpkin spice, werewolf cookie, potato cookie, stardust. I, I low-key do want to do stardust. I low-key... Oh, no, Milky Way though, Milky Way. Oh, wait, I'm adding, I'm adding mango to the list because I really want to do mango. I don't know if anyone will vote, but still, just up there. What is Eternal Sugar? I've never heard of that cookie. Shark cookie. Stardust. Black Pearl. Ooh, Black Pearl. Oh my gosh. Okay, well... I'm not seeing, do you guys want mango or should I just leave them off for now? I could draw them later. We, I'm seeing a lot of Stardust. I'm seeing a lot of Milky Way. I'm, I'm adding Parfait because Parfait was on there yesterday. Okay, some people are saying yes, mango. Let's just add mango. We'll, we'll get to all these characters in due time. I promise you that. Look at our canvas, it's huge. So, heaps and heaps of space for, oopsie, my music. Heaps and heaps of space for um, lots and lots of cookies. I'm gonna be making these into charms, so, you know, get hype. Hold up, let me go into this and make a poll. So we've got Stardust. I'm kind of scared. Is Stardust like really complicated? I honestly don't know their design that well because I still haven't pulled them. It's a bit depressing, isn't it? Milky Way. Stardust. Who is Eternal Cookie? Stardust is very complicated, guys. Do not pick Stardust, please, for my sanity. Please, please, please. Okay, I forgot what the I forgot what the other one. Oh, oh parfait. That was my original idea. Pirate fits? No, parfait. Okay, get to voting, my friends. How about while the votes come in, we hop onto Roblox Speed Draw, because why not? And let's destroy some children. Okay. Eternal Sugar Cookie is the new Fallen Ancient. Oh, like in this most recent update, I literally just downloaded it this morning. I only downloaded it this morning. That's how behind I am. Okay, Milky Way is winning. By how much? Oh, by not much. It's very close at the moment. Come on, guys, vote for Parfait, please. I have their sprite ready and everything, please. Ooh. Neck and neck between Mango and Milky Way. Okay, Milky Way's coming up. I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let this run. Um, we have speed draw up. Let me pause this music and just switch it over. Very smooth transition as you can probably tell. Oh, this is so little. Okay. We've only got one minute left, but we're gonna draw a B. Let's start, how about we do a bit of like a silly little thing here. Let's draw the letter B, get out of here, shoo. But like make it into like a stripey B pattern. Just gonna, just gonna blow their minds. The genius. Okay, there's our, there's our yellow base. How about we give it a little bit of shading around the edges? It's kind of hard to see at the moment. Nice, nice, much better than the flower. Yikes, that was ugly yesterday. That was a disgrace on my honor. 
The people who join this stream are gonna be like, um, she's supposed to be drawing Cookie Run characters? We'll get to that in a second, I promise. Just vote. Okay, we got our stripes coming along. Will we have time to add add wings to it? That's what I'd like to do. Okay, someone's doing a gacha pull on Cookie Run. Let us know what you get. I'm trying to like save up gems right now because I got inspired by my friend who saved up so so many gems, like quarter three quarters of a million gems to like five star their like favorite favorite characters when they're on like feature. And I'm like, I should do that too. That's so smart. But I like literally can't control my impulses, so this is me trying. And me trying is just me not playing the game. B Oh, look at that. We're thinking. Even had time for the wings. Oh, okay. Milky Way is winning. With Parfait coming in close behind. There is still time to vote, okay? I'm still see seeing these stream in, so. Maybe maybe a second maybe a second round of speed draw to just destroy children. <laughs> okay! Let's go. A B. I like this one. Like, I don't know what happened to this bee. It looks sort of like an imp, like the imp cap. Actually, I'm giving that a four. That's a solid four. What's next? Ooh! I mean, it's like sitting on a pink flower that is over some blue grass. Like, the interesting, like, top down. Oh no, I was yapping! Oh, this one, this one's a winner. I can, I can feel it. It's on a flower and everything. Okay, it's from the side. I, to be honest, I like that a bit more than the top-down version, but, you know. Oh. Okay. This one, it gives me sort of, like, anxiety, like, heart palpitations. Like, the way the colours are inverted on the eyeballs, like, it's making me feel things. Oh, wow, this is class. This is funny, guys. This is comedy. This is the part where you laugh. Oh, I should have put a stinger on the end. I should have put a stinger on the end. No. What is up with... It's Okay, it's either a three-year-old who can barely draw. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Or it's like a pro abstract artist that comes on here to like elicit strong emotions in the people of Roblox land. This one looks demented. This one looks like Toy Chica. I think it's literally just a blush. <laughs> am I onto something or am I onto nothing? Okay, this one's like got a B line, but it's a little confused. It's just going in like, it's not even going in like a traceable pattern. It's just an amorphous glob of B line. <clears throat> Yay! Okay, honestly, that was, that was fair. That was fair. Let's do another round though, because I see people are still joining the stream. Welcome. We're going to be drawing Cookie Run characters in a second. Just, you know, vote away. That's the one we're going to draw next. Okay, let's do one more round. Do you guys like my avatar? My bear pirate? I really need to change it to my other one, which is like my cute little like flower plant zeppy one. Oh well, this is what we got for now. By the way, if you want to add me on, um, oh, okay, sorry, I'll save it for later. Hairstyle, let's draw, like, bacon hair or something like that. Okay, first let's, let's draw the, the head of the Roblox character. Okay, it's a little small, let's make it bigger. That's what I'm talking about. Why am I actually getting better at drawing with a mouse? This is, like, changing me. Oh, no! Okay, I take it back. Eyes, eyes. Yes, noob face. Beautiful, stunning, chic. Okay, let's get a brown color, base color. What's it like? Is it, a, is it like a side bang? I can't remember. I know there's a bun at the back. Oh, so it's more red, isn't it? It's more like, it's more like redhead color. Oh, got a little bald spot here. Let's fix it up for you. This is the this is the Zeppin One Salon, bro. 
changed this entire stream. We've had a rebrand. No, just kidding. We will get to the to the actual drawing soon. This music is so hype. I just want to get up and dance. It. Oh, okay. We need to distinguish between the front and the back of her hair because at the moment it just looks like she has like this, this like large cone. I mean, you can sort of tell it's supposed to be a bun, but also like not really. Hold up. And we draw like the individual strands, like we shade it a little. That's what I'm talking about. Oh wow. This is absolutely stunning. You know what, at least I am drawing with the mouse. It would actually be like... It would actually be atrocious if I drew with my, my graphics tablet. I just look like such a full sweat. They'd be like, ugh, oh, cringe. Who does this person think they are? Coming on here with a drawing tablet on speed draw Roblox. What a loser. Here I am with the mouse, so it's all fair game, right? It's just a battle of the will. Oh, this is actually class! Hold on, do we add hair highlights? This is the best part, look. Oh. I like just did an Instagram post and it was like, what do you like about your art style? And the... That was like one of the things I put these hair highlights. So lovely. You gotta, you gotta love your own art sometimes, guys. Make sure to note in your mind the things you like about your own art style. Hold up, do we add sparkles? Do we have time? Yeah, we got 17 seconds. That's heaps. That's heaps to add a few little sparkles. A little sparkle in the eye. Oh! Tell me that isn't... Beautiful, stunning. Let's add a little bit of shading around the mouth. Woo! Oh yeah, nah. Oh, okay. I can't tell if it's like a Karen haircut or the new. See this person again with the scary eyes. Why does it have two pupils? Two. Two for the amount of times you've scared me with those creepy eyeballs. Oh my god. It looks like a mango seed. Can I just say that? I had mango last night, so I'm rating it as slightly higher. And it it brings out this visceral rage and fear. Okay, this person has an art style. Just like I was saying before, they really like these like side looking eyes. They did a good job as well. Look at that colored line art. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. I wonder who did this one. Damn, that's crazy. Oh my gosh. Like, why does the saturation sort of go up a little bit, like, when we're voting? Now, I don't know how to feel about this one. This also looks like someone's been playing too much FNAF, like, that it's rotten their brain. But I'll give it three. Actually, no, two. Because I remember I gave another one three, and I don't think it was, like, on the same level. I feel like... This one's so cute! Four stars. It, it makes me feel happy and makes me feel joy. Oh! Hey! This looks a little familiar! Who's this? I'll give it a five! I like this hairstyle, I might even draw it on my own soda someday, that's lovely! The poo room. Does that say, are you okay, written in poop? One! This is scary! Okay, let's see. Demolished! Destroyed! Oh dear! Didn't even make the board! I lost because my name starts with Z! That's a little bit discriminatory if, if you really think about it. Oh well, let's... Okay, let's end um, the poll here. We're on 147 votes. I think that's pretty solid. I think that's a pretty good show of democracy. Thank you to the person from the stream who joined my Roblox game. Is that you? Birthday? Or are you just like really up in my up in my jam? Okay, let's switch back to Clip Studio. Let's put our music back on. It's very eerily silent at the moment. I'm gonna go close the poll. So I think Milky Way has won. And we're gonna draw them. That's what we're gonna do. Now hold on a second. Hold on a second, keep yourselves busy in chat because I have to go find the sprite to put on the screen. Because otherwise, you guys, you're not going to trust the process, but if you see the picture, then you know what the end game is. 
So give me one second. Oh, is, is the vote going to change in the last five seconds? Maybe. Oh. No. Okay. Milky Way is definitely one. I love that as well. Milky Way is very cute. Bit tricky to start off with another challenging cookie, but oh well. That's what you've asked me to do, so that's what I'll be delivering. Oh, please give me a PNG. Come on. PNG. Yes. Okay. Quick and easy, actually. That one had a simple to find PNG. I remember last time we had to, like... I had to just crop this one of squid ink, which was pretty sad. Oh, so beautiful. Size this down a tiny bit. And now we know who we're drawing. We're drawing Milky Way Cookie. Let me just pull up the ref on my phone. Milky Way Cookie. Guess what I'm going to be doing after this stream? I'm going to be playing Frosty Fest on my Discord server. So if you haven't joined already, um, the join link is in my most recent video in the description. So if you want to go take a look at that. And I'll be probably making teams with um, with some of my mutuals. Wait, let me, let me just quickly check which team I chose. Because I'm choosing the same team as my friend. Okay. Family. We're choosing team family. So if you want to come play Splatoon and you're on team family, you know, after this stream, catch us there. All right. I've got, I've got the ref up on my phone. Let's get to this. Let's get right to it. Okay. Where's my navigator? Where is it? Oh, it's like disappeared. That's quite convenient. It's up. Awesome. Look at all this space we're going to fill with cookies. Isn't this so inspiring? Also, this is what we did last stream for anyone who wasn't there. I'm pretty sure at least most of you were there. But here it is. This is the preview of like what we're going to be drawing for Milky Way Cookie. Um, so the sprite we're looking at here, it's quite wide, which is not ideal for a charm, which is what this is eventually going to turn into. So... Um, how about we we do a bit more of a neutral pose and maybe maybe we sideline this um this stick. I think it's a stick. Is it a stick or like a cannon? I'm so confused. Or is it is it a gun? Who let this child have a gun? I don't know. It's a gun. What? I literally, I thought it was like, you know, the magic wand hat has like the little white end. Wouldn't that make sense too? Okay, let's try and model this off the others. Saw Bay, I think, is like the best one to just sort of base stuff off because his head is just so round and squishable, you know? Um, do we make this a little whimsical? Do we make this like, maybe, maybe like a sleeping like sleeping and there's like dreams over their head. I think that'll be super cute. Hold on. This body's a little too wide. We need to be tiny and chibi, especially for um this little guy because it's a very like little sort of chibi character. Little feet. And then let's worry about the arms. Oop. Wrong layer. Let's worry about the arms later because they're just like these giant sleeves anyway, so. Wow. It looks so small next to Squid Ink, but it's like, it's the base that we want though. Okay, let's get to work on this sketch. I think I'm going to do it on the layer above. This balloon. It's a telescope. Oh my gosh, I thought it was a gun. I thought it was a gun. That would make sense though, a telescope, because like Milky Way, looking into the Milky Way. Maybe, maybe shooting things in the Milky Way. A laser beam. Hold on. Let's start off with the little curl. It's a pretty nice starting point, don't you think? And then, actually, let's place the eyeballs first as well. 
Or if we have them sleeping, do you think- I think- I like their eyes though, I want them to be open. Or maybe they dream when they're awake because they literally just live in a dreamland. Why would she have a horn and a whistle? Because isn't she a train conductor? Wouldn't that- why- why would she have a gun? Oh, I mean telescope. Well, to see into the- I don't know. You guys are confusing me. I don't think I actually have this character built, so I, I don't really know much about them. And then, little cream puff. So cute! And then... Maybe put her floating with stars. True. Cause like the little compito. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Probably ozifying it, but the little like Japanese star candies. Maybe some of those. I'd like to learn how to render those. I think that would be fun. Hold on, let me move my mic a little. Okay, um, So what's going on with this hair? So we've got like a blob that comes out this side and like a bit of that. Is that is that looking good? And then we have the big star candies. Oh look, I get to render one anyways. It's awesome. So that's got eight sides. We've got like a eight-sided star candy. We gotta keep that a little bit the same. And then, like, the hair sort of looks like this little, this little sort of blob. It's so cute. Okay. Bro, what? She looks. No, this is a child! I'm pretty sure it's a child. It's a very child looking character. Anyways, glubby little hair. I just heard like a bell ringing sound. I don't know what it was. Was it the song changing? What? Okay, hold on. Gonna go half and half with this screen. Alright. Little glubby hair bits. I don't like the way they just like drop down. I think it looks sort of weird. Hmm. What if they were like holding their hair or something? Maybe they do need to be like sort of floating so we can draw like everything sort of trailing behind hmm okay the hat oh milky way is canonically she her thank you what is that dinging bell noise am i missing something what is going on She's not a child. Oh, okay. It's a very child looking character though. She's probably like, I'm not a kid. Star. She looks a little bit like tilted, like on the side. Hold up, let's fix that. Oh my gosh, this cancel button will be the death of me. Okay. Let's bring this little curl up a little bit more so it's a little less lopsided. Erase that all. Okay, now that looks weird. We need a bit more like, like hair-like. There we go. 
erase this part. I might get rid of these as well. Maybe we can just, like, fill the sketch straight in, just get straight to it. That might help speed up our, like, our process. I need this to be more chibi. Extend these slightly down. But I want her to be doing something. Hmm. Definitely floating, right? Surely. Because at the moment she's just like facing forward, she's just staring us dead in the eyes. Looking into our soul. Let's... Can she float? Do we make her float? Because then she'll be- I guess she'll be like as long as Squid Ink. And these guys all have like hats and fins and stuff to make them super long, maybe. Maybe this will be fine too. Like sort of like this. Hold on, let's flip test this. Okay, not shabby. Not too shabby, I might bring this down a tiny bit more though. Let's get rid of that. She's like, just like, it looks like she's being held up by her hair, like they're like these strong arms and just... Woo! Holding her off the ground! So I want her face to be slightly thinner. Yeah, I think a slightly thinner face looks a little better. Hmm. I think I want a bit more shape to this head as well. Let's move this hat. I think it's slightly too big. Just slightly. Let's move it over here for a second. Let's figure out this like hair shape. So it's sort of a bit more blobby than one might assume. Like this. And then we can move the, the hat back on. I mean, that probably didn't do much. We're just going to erase those lines anyways, but... I think it did something, so it matters. The hat in general looks a little flat. I might redraw it. Hmm. Down this way. And no, maybe the old one looked better. It's so hard to tell. This. Okay, maybe we need to erase this underneath so it doesn't like disturb my thinking. Wait, should I read Milky Way's like wiki page to maybe get a better idea of what pose. Let's go. So... Let's take a look. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is long. Take a handful of star powder gathered from all over the Milky Way galaxy, illuminate it and with delicate moonlight and voila, meet Milky Way Cookie. The slumbering moon's faithful servant. The conductor of the Sugar Cloud Express that will take you to your sweetest dreams and back. So, train conductor, something about dreams, right? Kyoto, you're such a good drawer. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, everything is possible in the world of dreams and accidents happen too every now and then. The train's floor disappears and the car's rip reshuffle randomly, leaving crowds of passengers in utter confusion, and right in the middle of the conductor's scheduled nap time. But professionalism never betrays, and there is no problem Milky Way Cookie can't sort out. Colourful hair neatly tied with the star jelly, conductor's hat on and choo-choo, the Sugar Cloud Express will deliver you to your dreamy destination, according to the schedule. Just make a wish upon a twinkling star. Okay, so, professional sort of lady. 
Um, let's take a look at the trivia. Okay, so it is a telescope. I just saw, like, the little item. Okay. Back to our reference. So a little bit more context, but still I'm lost. Maybe we bring back the telescope. Or maybe sometimes she does this pose where she, like, she, like, pulls down her hat, like, over one eye. Can you make her expression more happy? It looks like she's crying. True, her mouth is, like, very sort of down at the moment. Let's make it just a bit more of, like, a, a ham mouth. Or what if she was, like, what if she was, like, pointing and being, like, all aboard, but, like, it's not saying that. And then we have, like, stars. You know how... I don't know, when I do expressions on TV characters, I I literally reference um, Animal Crossing emotions, like that's what I'm thinking of. And it's, it's the one called Flourish, where they sort of spin around and then put their arms out, they have stars, and they just, stars go in every direction. I don't know, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but something sort of along that line, you know? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I think these little hair bits are still a bit uneven. Let's move this one slightly over. Actually, maybe I want them to, like, be a little bit more, like, coming out a little bit more. So let's change this mouth. It's still going to be very small, but a little bit more like active actually maybe the little hand mouth could work oh my gosh it's so cute the smaller the mouth the better it is the more milky way it is and then the sleeve has to go up probably over this so let's move that to the sort of background of the drawing. And then maybe the other, the other arm is like sort of on the hip like this. You should make her hold a whistle like she's trying to call someone to get them on the train with an angry face. That would be so cute! A whistle would actually be so cute. Hold on. And that would sort of like keep it within the bounds as well. And I'm thinking of, of making these into charms and having like a slightly different expression on the other side so i'll probably like go back and edit all these later so i might just i might just like you know close clover's eye make sorbet look sort of like angry or like determined maybe make this little dude a little less sad or even more sad never know and then this one could be like the front is just like with the eyes open with the whistle next to the mouth and then the other side is like is like is like this it's like blowing the whistle Like that. Can you, <laughs> can you blow a whistle, baby? <laughs> if someone donates even like, like 10 cents, I'll draw Josh Hutchison next to her. <laughs> I don't actually know how to see the donations. I think they'll just pop up in chat. I think they'll just pop up in chat. Everyone in, who is in favour of Zeppin 1 drawing herself as a cookie next, say I. Ooh, that could be interesting. Meowsicle, Zeppin 1, I absolutely love your art style. It's so cute. Thank you so much. Honestly, these cookie designs help so much. They're really adorable. 
I've been having a lot of fun with like this. Oh wow, there's a lot of eyes in chat. I'm glad I didn't ban that letter as well. You guys would all be like reported as spam bots. <laughs> okay, so we have the the little sleeve just here. It's gonna be like an interesting um, clothes to render as well. And there we go. When you finish drawing all the cookies, you should draw yourself as a cookie. Oh my gosh! Voxella, are you asking me to draw Josh Hutchison next to next to this cookie? Cause I mean I promise and I'll I'll do it. I I always deliver. I always deliver. Okay. So I'm looking up a reference picture now. Luckily the one that I'm after is like the first one. <laughs> Josh is real. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Valexor. Okay. People that join this stream, they're gonna be like, um, where's the cookie run characters we were promised? I promise I'm getting to it. And he has sort of like the Roblox man face, he's like... Wait, should we draw him with like the conductor hat and with like the little, um... With like the little, the little hair? Oh, that's so cute. Hold on, we gotta get to his face. Let's zoom right in. Wait, let's make this brush a little smaller. I need this to be precise. Getting zeppified. And his eye sort of like comes down a little. Why am I putting so much effort into this? This is crazy. Okay, that that's sort of like, oh my gosh, this is so eerie. This is so Roblox man face, what? They're gonna wonder why this drawing is on this canvas. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I swear, I'm normal. I don't know how to draw noses that well. I gotta make the mouth a little smaller. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta make his eyebrows like a little thinner. I'm obsessed with drawing every character with like super thick eyebrows. Even real people in real life. This hair's sort of like like spiky like this. Oh no, his forehead's gonna be huge! Hold on, I'll, I'll make his forehead a slight bit smaller. Okay. Back on task. Not quite. Not quite back on task. Back on this task. Not the correct task. And then... Wait, no, he's gotta have the... He's gotta have the Milky Way hair. He's blowing his whistle. His galaxy train conductor whistle. Okay. I'm gonna put this on 10. Oh yes, little curl, very cute. Oh my gosh, Casey draw stuff. Oh, oh, thank you so much. I don't know what to do now. What would you like me to draw? Wait, fit super? Hold on, there's quite a few! Hold on, what? I do not remember getting a super before. <laughs> oh! I said oh that that is That is basically your reward, but if you want me to draw a quick request, I'm happy to. But this is what we got going on. John's Banana, thank you so much! One of the greats, one of the legends. Guys, stop, stop donating me so much money, I'm gonna get rich. <laughs> I'm gonna get rich and I won't have to turn these into charms anymore. Just kidding, I'll do that regardless. 
Okay. Very on track here. He's blowing his whistle. So maybe he has... We're just going to draw a floating whistle on there. Look at that! Stunning! Stunning! We'll leave this up in the corner. And let's get back on... Let's get properly back on task. Let's properly get back onto it. And the little feet, also cute. You should make the cookies you draw into stickers or keychains and sell them. I will totally buy one. Yes, well, good news for you because that is the plan. And I'm planning to, well, at least get some of these made into charms by um, early February. But I'll probably open my shop in maybe mid-February because um, I have a few conventions I'm doing, actually, in Australia. Doing one in Sydney, doing one in Melbourne. I was going to do one in the Gold Coast, but um, but I actually am going to a Coldplay concert on the same weekend, so I sort of can't, which is really sad. Make one... <laughs> Charge a hundred dollars for them for a whiff. We're out here fleecing every- Oh my gosh! I just look up to like see my reference and Josh Hutchison is just staring me back in the face. <laughs> what? How did we come to this? Okay. Zeppin1, do you use a microphone? No, can you tell? <laughs> I use my phone actually. I use it, my phone and this thing called WoMic because I got like this cheap as microphone and um, yeah, it was really bad. And now I don't know which one to get, but I might get one soon, not gonna lie, because I'm making so many YouTube videos and like doing so many streams. But, Cyan, do you like my PFP? I actually can't see it, it's very small. It's very small in the chat. I'll take a look later. Send it in the Discord server and I'll, I'll give you my my word. Thank you to the 125 people watching right now. That is an awesome number. Wait, the audio is so good just through a phone? I know! That's that's why I like that's why I I record on my phone and not on an actual microphone. That's why I'm like, oh, should I even get a mic? Because the quality is not that bad. But yeah, that's what I record all my YouTube videos and stuff on as well. I admit I need to probably learn a little bit more like audio editing. But for now, this is this is what we're working with. This is our cheap option. Well, I mean, my phone wasn't cheap, but I use it for a heap of other stuff, so. I feel like at the moment this looks a little weird. Like, I don't really know. Do we like... Like, this doesn't look like a, a hand. It looks like the shoulder and, like, it's just somehow, like, floating there. Let's remove this. Let's rework it. I didn't know Zepp was Australian. How's the bugs? I feel like I didn't realise how afraid the rest of the world is of bugs. Until, like, just very recently. Because I swear I've always had... I've always had bugs just, like around me in my life like I don't know there's always spiders on the wall and and they just they leave you alone they just eat annoying your bugs and don't leave any webs and they're just cool dudes and I'm just shocked that like other people across the world would be so scared by them I mean there are not gonna lie there are people in Australia who are also super scared of bugs and like born and raised here like grew up here but I think because I, I grew up rural as well Lots of bugs experience. Lots of like centipedes and stuff. So, yeah. That was the most Australian thing I've heard today. It's just, I don't get it because it's just normal to me. <laughs> Where can I find her Discord? Um, my Discord is actually in um, my most recent video's um, description. So you can find it there. Hold up, we forgot to add like the little... There's like a little bandana cuff sort of thing. Okay. 
It's like a little tie, sort of. So professional. Buttons. I think this looks a little bit more like a sleeve now, this. And make it come up a bit higher. And you can probably sell it a little more. Maybe like the hair goes back up like this. And then mouth is like a little bit more open, like taking sort of a breath in. Okay, you should make other celebrities into personas. That would be really cool. I I want to continue that series. I I'm thinking about it. I just I just want to make sure I choose my um, celebrities carefully. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to I don't want to tread on anyone's toes or whatnot. I don't know how that would happen, but. I don't know. Thank you. I will I will consider it Pitbull persona. I already did that. One of my original like TikToks was actually about um you know how there's like the, the thing and it's like um Pitbull's like been there, done that. Well I did I did that, but it was like me struggling to like, I don't know, get followers or something on DeviantArt back in the day. And then it was like He's been there, done that. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's that's what I'm on about. And I, I did make a persona, sort of. I drew like rainbow dog ears on him and called it a day. I don't know if that counts. Okay. Back onto the drawing. So I was just checking something. The hair is still a little bit bunched up though. I'm not sure if we should make it like a little bit more. Please draw um Kumiho cookie. You did okay, well what I can do for you because Kumiho cookie has not come up in the votes in the past. I will put Kumiho cookie like in the voting pool. So they'll be on there. And actually, no, their design might be simple. I might actually be able to draw them, like, really easily. Hold on. We'll see how this stream goes, and I promise I'll keep you in mind. And... This hat is like this. I think we need to make this band, like, a little bit more... It's not to the edge, like that. What do we think of this of this design? Doesn't even have a whistle like in the game, but oh well. Mm. I really wish I could like go crazy on this hair because it's so cute. I don't know how. Because I, I need to keep it sort of like all together because it's a, a chain design. Nah, it just looks super weird. Let's go back to what we were doing before. I'll see you, Zayan. Good luck with the work you're getting done today. <gasps> Thank you so much. Wait, do you want to say like... You are Sigma or, or like me? <laughs> Do you want me to say I, I feel so Sigma? Cause I, I, I sort of do. <laughs> I'm Sigma. <laughs> Thank you, the Cheza. I suppose you're also Sigma. Thank you for the donation. Okay. Back onto the drawing. How do we feel about this? Let's flip test it. Oh, it's a little bit like... What's going on? It's a little bit how you going. Let's move this hat up. Oh, didn't take half of it with us. Down here. Yes, and then... Do I like the hat up higher or lower? 
I just feel like this little like, this little blob of hair isn't really making sense to me right now. Your drawings are very cute. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Here's the other three again. I'm just so proud of them. Especially, strangely enough, I had the most doubts for Squid Ink, and I think Squid Ink turned out the best. Maybe I'm just, like, improving as we go. And then... What little particles do I draw around? Maybe just some stars. That comes naturally to this character. So many star shapes. How about that? Maybe a little bit bigger. What do you think? Compared to... Maybe slightly smaller, like this. If you do continue the furry celeb thing, you should do Mitski and make her like a pretty fox or something. That's actually such a great idea. Maybe. I really do want it to like be influenced by like the tone of their music though, to be honest. So I feel like Mitski would probably be like maybe <laughs> like a depressed box. <laughs> what is the flavor of today's voyage? Hmm. The flavor? Maybe like, like almond? But like not almond cookie, just like almond flavor. Like almond croissant. Or strawberry milk. Bro, imagine a strawberry milk cookie. You know, I was looking at the wiki before actually looking for sprites and I saw that there was like a cookie run OC wiki and some of those have so much work put into them. Like it was just absolutely beautiful. It was this one I think called like Blue Dream or something. And I legit thought it was real because like they had like the whole tweened animations and everything like that. Thank you again, the Cheza. Say cheese. Cheese. There you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright. I think now we get on to this rendering a little bit. Now, do we, like, base it off the sketch? Or do we, do we just, like, draw it again and make it, like, a little neater? What do we do with squid ink? I think we made, like, a really neat. Okay, let's do that then. Because, to be honest, my rendering is already, like, messy enough. Hold on, I'll be back. I'm just gonna wash my hands. Like, I think I still have like a little bit of my skincare routine left and left on them, and it's like slightly bugging me. So I'm gonna go wash that off. Okay, I'm back. I've returned. Thank you again, the Chesar. You're like going on some sort of leaderboard, bro, like that. Third. Dang. Go absolutely crazy. All right. Let's start off this sketch. Actually, I think because this character is so complicated, like squid ink, it's pretty much the same texture all around. But maybe I should do like piece by piece. So I'll start off by rendering just the face. Like this. Let's find this dough color. Um, I might actually set this line art to like a, a bluish color like this. Just fill this in for a second, and let's drag this sketch to the top, actually. They're not blue. I know. I'm just... I'm working on something. Working on finding the perfect white sort of colour. It's really weird because my slider on my, like, drawing tablet, like my standalone Android tablet, it's HSV, which is Hue Saturation Value. But this one is um, HLS, which is Hue Luminance Saturation, which is like throwing me off slightly. 
with my colors. Like I sort of, I'm not super learned with this. <laughs> I know what you are. Thank you so much for $10. That's actually crazy. What am I? Let me know. <laughs> A furry? Is that, is that what I am? That's actually crazy. We're friends. You shouldn't be giving me money like this. Okay. I think, I think that's kind of a nice white. It's a little bit yellowish, actually. Maybe let's move it a bit towards green. And blue on the other side. I like to have this sort of gradient into the line art. I think it looks quite, quite lovely. I'm turning this sketch on because I'm like anyone who joins the stream and just sees like this blue ball is going to be like, wow, this amateur. Why does this amateur have a $10 donation? Zeppin inspired me to play Cookie Run today and draw some silly Cookie Run characters in a similar style. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Definitely share it on um, the Discord server later. Hmm. I think I might add sort of like a, a blush before... We start um, the eyes. Okay, I'll make this slightly lighter. I kind of like using this sort of hue variation, I think. Hmm. It's just so tricky to get the colors that I want. Let's start drawing the eyes in. Let's use the same blue. Are we happy with the placement of them? Maybe I'll make this one slightly lower. Like this. And then one up here. I think that's pretty solid. And then we have sort of a purple color for the eyes. Let's just actually use this color that was generated by the sketch. Zeppin1, give me a prompt for, um, a mech. I think... What about, like... Like a wasteland waitress. Like, they just... They're like a food-serving robot. I don't know, I'm... I don't know if that's kind of boring. But I think it's fun to, like, design... Characters based on, like, really mundane things. Definitely not what Cookie Run had in mind. Oh, oh my gosh, these... These designs are so beautiful. So we sort of have the base for this. Trust the process. This is literally the definition of trusting the process. Look at this. Okay. Let's even out these eyes a little. And I want to give them little eyebrows like this. I don't think they actually have eyebrows. A lot of cookies don't. But you know now, eyebrows. Maybe we could hide it under the hair a little bit more. Bigs, littles, Zeppin one. I think you're the bets at drawing, in my opinion. I don't think so, but thank you. I really appreciate the sentiment. I think because of my simplistic art style, I actually get called amateur quite a lot. It actually means, that really means something to me, thank you. Which is funny because you think that someone who is like supposedly good at art would um, be able to like recognize the like merits of every artist instead of like quantifying everyone down to, oh, amateur because you have a simple art style. Hmm. I think this line is too dark, to be honest. Zeppin1, are you good at Mario Kart? Yes, I am. The only person who has been able to beat me in Mario Kart is my friend Samuel. And he's like a League of Legends sweat, so... Doesn't even... 
Doesn't even count at this point. I mean, I don't know if I should feel like I'm closer to being the best person I know at playing Mario Kart, or if I should feel sad that I've been beated, beaten by a League of Legends player. Okay. These like really big sparkly highlights. Zeppin1, you should live stream some some Danganronpa characters. Sorry, I don't know how to say that. I I think it's clear by the way I just said that that I've like actually never interacted with the fandom or the game. Or the anime. But it, it sounds kind of like interesting. I've seen the I've seen like the memes and it's like Ooh, what's scarier than dying? And it's like hearing this on a roller coaster, and then it's just like that their theme song. I don't know. I feel like dying would be scarier than hearing a song on a roller coaster. I mean, I think it I think it means that you're gonna die, like there's like execution or something in that game. What is even the premise? I'm so confused. What is the premise? Can someone explain it to me? Maybe tag me so I'll see the message. Dang gang grandpa. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest. Oh my gosh. Zeppin1, what's your favorite cookie? I really like herb cookie. I I like most of the cookies because all of them are beautiful in their own way. But I think herb cookie is special to me because number one, green. But number two, canonically bald in the winter. And I kind of like relate to that. I also go bald in the winter. So yeah, favorite cookie. Let's change up this line art color a little bit. Sort of like building this outwards. I'd love to render this little swirl. Hello Ozen112. Zeppin face reveal at 100k. Um, I've actually already done a face reveal, so I don't think that would be very exciting. Well, I've done a face reveal in a TikTok. But on YouTube, like, what do you mean? This is my face. This is me drawing right now. This is like, this is my webcam. And I just have like a green screen behind me. It just, it just crops me out. Yeah. Can I post a drawing of human herb cookie in the Discord? Absolutely you can. We love seeing art. Okay. Adding a few more different colors to this. Let's hop in here and add something, a little sparkle to the eyes. Add a little dazzle. This is actually turning out really cute. I want to fix up this, this right down here though. This shadow underneath. Maybe let's add the little ham mouth now. I call it a ham mouth, by the way, because it's like a hamster. Oh, we won't even need that because it's going to be covered. Oh, well, let's just. Let's just chuck this on here. Let's put the sketch back up and the whistle is going to be there as well. Zeppi, are you still traumatized by the tracing drama? Um, I think I've pretty much, like, gotten over it because, I mean, it sort of did, like, jumpstart my YouTube, which was nice. But, I mean, I'm just, honestly, I'm just, like, glad that everyone came around to my opinion because I was, like, tortured by that for, like, six months before people started believing me. So it's sort of, like, come to its resolution rather than me being traumatized. Like, it ended quite well. Let's add a little something something on the eyes. Increase the saturation slightly. Oh yeah, this is very cute. Face alone is so cute, OMG. Thank you so much, Jack Moon. Get well soon, my friend. Wait, are you Australian or 
Or am I stupid? Two things can be true at the same time, actually. But no, I am Australian. <laughs> what was the tracing drama? There was actually a video about it on my channel. Which is hopefully the last drama video I'll ever have to do. I don't want to make any more. I don't want to become a, like a drama art YouTuber. It's kind of just a depressing scene, I think. Oh, I sort of want to make this a little less green, a little bit more like leaning towards like purpley blue colors. Oh, actually that looks so nice. It's like an icy blue. Zeppin1, what is your favorite drawing you've made? That's tough. I really, I, honestly, every single new drawing I make is my favorite. So I guess this one that I'm working on right now. To be honest, I really do like my, um, my scene idols though. Scene core, scene, I don't know if they're scene or scene core. To be honest, I sort of designed them as like a blend between both aesthetics. Zeppin is so cool, I wish Australia was real. Me too. It's like such an awesome place and such awesome people live there. <gasps> this is so scrunkly. I might add a little bit more to the eyes. Will they ever rival the shininess of Squid Ink Cookie's eyes? Look at that. Shininess is on a whole nother level. Let's actually make this colour a tiny bit more saturated. It's a bit muted at the moment. And then... It sort of looks like it's like out at the moment. It sort of popped out. How are we gonna make a blue color to go along this? Maybe just along the edge here? That looks pretty solid. I think I think she has like a little star shape in her eye though, so maybe we should add that. Like this? Yeah, that's so cute. Extend it out a little with some of these. Face is really coming together. I actually love drawing on stream because I know I can't leave. I'm like trapped here until I create something, it's so good. This is such a nice relaxing stream, so glad I took a break from Frosty Fest. Well, get ready because I'm gonna be playing some in the Discord server right after this. Right after, I have to play in the middle of the day. Like I was gonna play last night, but I don't because I know that I won't go to sleep. Like I'll just, I'll just stay up, I'll get into it. And then I'll be like, no, but I have to, I'm on such a roll, I have to continue. And then I just, I will, I'll just continue until 2am and I never stop. Zero self-control right here when it comes to Splatoon. Anything's possible. But honestly, I'm kind of slacking on Splatoon. Like all of my weapons, the freshness is just nothing. My rank is just abysmal. It's really my flop era in Splatoon. Oh, I was supposed to be recording this. Oh. Wait. Hmm. Never mind. Let's start. Ah, oh, yeah. Clip Studio time lapse is going. Okay, where next with this hair? Let's take a look. So we've got this. I actually like this strategy. Sort of like each bit as we go. I've sort of done a different thing for each one. Like this one, I basically did this without a sketch. This one I did a, a sketch and I filled it in, like with solid colour. This one, I think, 
It was a bit different because the solid color was like all over and then I added some adjustment layers. This is going to be really cute though, I could feel it. I'm really trusting the process now. Remember when it was just like this blob? <laughs> so atrocious. Zeppin1, I'm drawing Milky Way cookie while you're drawing Milky Way. Oh my gosh. That's so awesome. Have to compare them later. Zeppin1, do you have any tips for rendering? To be honest, I'm not super good at rendering. Like, it's sort of my second craft after line art, which I'm, I'd am i say I'm better at. But I think... I think my number one tip would probably be to, like, never overwork it. Like, once you're happy with sort of how it's turned out, like, if you're not super experienced at rendering, you're probably not going to reach the perfection you might have in mind. So sometimes it's just better, like, be satisfied with whatever you create instead of, like, pushing forever, which is basically what I did with Clover. Like, I speak from experience when I say this. So yeah, I think that, that would be my one tip. I'd love to get better at rendering so I can maybe make a video on it as well. Because my most recent video was mostly talking about line art. <gasps> this is such a good song. It feels so peaceful. Okay. The star candy, I want to make sure it looks quite even. Zeppin1, do you have any tips for less stiff posing? It ruins my drawings. I think the trick with that one is to use a lot of curves when you're drawing things. To be honest, I'm just figuring out that as well. So trust me, I'm in the same struggle. Oh, that's not supposed to be pink. But um, just use like really sort of curved lines. Yeah, I guess. Because I'm working on a commission at the moment. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to finish it and share it with you guys. Um, it's turning out beautiful. And I and for that pose, I was struggling. I was struggling for days and days. I was like, what am I going to do? Because I sort of had ideas. But it involved props. See, that's what sort of complicates it. So eventually when I just started using curved lines and not focusing too much on like putting any guidelines down for like the face or anything, I got more of like a like a flowy, expressive pose. Maybe you could also try like some figure drawing as well. I personally haven't done that, but it's something I'd like to do in the coming year. Let's draw this here. Hey, maybe this is all gonna like this is all going to come together pretty fast. Also, good news. The previous live stream is still up. It didn't get taken down because of copyright, which I'm very happy about. Zeppin1, OMG, you drew Milky Way. So good. Thank you, the Cheza. Alakazam, do you have any tips for drawing proper anatomy? Um, Probably just, you know, study... Like, do some, like, figure studies, probably. To be honest, the only, like, anatomy practice that I do is, like, for drawing muscles, because you can't really make that up. But the rest, I don't know. Just, like, figured it out as I went along. But honestly, my anatomy skills aren't, like, up to scratch. Like, they aren't 100%. I'm going to be so real. Like, most of the time, I'm only drawing busts and, like, headshots. So, anatomy is just tricky. There's not even any videos I recommend because I really just don't pay attention to it. I think I think a few good things that I've learned though are like proportions. So things like, you know, the eyes should be one eye apart. So like if you have an eye and then an eye, there should be like space for one eye in the middle. Like like just things like that, you know, and um I'm pretty sure there was another one. I don't know, I just like to always make sure that the arms are the same length as well, like the forearms and the rest of your arm is like the same. Zeppin1, would you ever consider doing a hair tutorial? Um, I'd absolutely love to, I just want to make sure my tutorials are spaced out a little bit because, to be honest, they don't get like super good views. 
and I feel like I want to draw more um, more diverse hair types before I consider myself like good enough to draw like to do a hair tutorial like I mean I do draw like some some like diverse hair types but I think I think I should probably like make some better examples before I do anything like that so yeah maybe here's our hat Let's check out with the flip test. Okay, maybe this hat needs to come down a little this side. Seven one, do you ship Madeline and Espresso cookie? I don't. I don't like go crazy shipping them, but I, I appreciate the ship. I kind of like it, but I wouldn't say I've like ever drawn any art of that. This is so cute. I think I might make this one a bit lower though. Just to match. How is this going to look? Yeah, that's cute. Zeppin1, do you have any tips on drawing cookies slash chibis in general? Because they make me fight for my life. Um, well for chibis... I think it's about finding your own personal style, like a lot of people seem to think that there's only one way to draw chibi characters, but to be honest, like, there's just so many ways, and it took me a little while to find my style, but just make sure that you know, deep down, that there's not, there's not one correct way to draw chibis. And like, the focus should be on drawing them as cute as possible. <laughs> Sorokoi, Zeppin1, I've tried to do anatomy studies, but it just doesn't work out for some reasons. I've wondered why, like, is it the way I study it, or... I think maybe, um, maybe you could try doing some, like, sight drawing. So I used to, I think the reason why I actually am, like, I look sort of good at anatomy is because I'm very, very good at sight drawing. Which is just something I accidentally developed, like as a kid because all the time we'd go outside into the garden and we'd have a piece of paper and we'd sort of look at plants and then try and draw them without looking down at our page so it was sort of like it was sort of just like a, a silly little game um, me and my siblings did but it actually developed my sight drawing skills like a lot so now I can just sort of look at um I can just look at a reference and I won't need to like trace it or break it down or anything. I can just sort of look at it and just draw what I see. But yeah, it's all about just developing those skills. It's it's never it's never ever a case of you got it or you don't. It's just about practicing and just developing. Seppi, when are you doing a chibi tutorial? I'd actually love to do one. I'd love to do an Instagram post just like breaking down how I draw them. I really want to do more posts on there instead of reels. Because I'm just finding like TikTok and reels to like just be so soulless lately. And I honestly don't need to like farm for any more clout. Like I've got, I've got everyone seeing my art that I, that I want to see my art, you know? So yeah, maybe I maybe I might make a chibi tutorial. Little sleeve. Insta reels are killing me. I know. Oh my gosh. What is killing me actually is the trend I started on TikTok, the one where it's like the heavy metal lover one. It migrated to Instagram reels somehow. And people are totally I mean, I I knew this would happen if it ever became a trend, but people are totally butchering it. They're not giving me weird childhood crushes, they're just giving me the normal childhood crushes and now I just feel weird. Now I feel like the weirdo again and I'm like, no, this trend was supposed to like give us a space to talk about characters that we were like weirdly attracted to, but now it's just like the typical normal characters that everyone likes. Maybe it's like... Maybe it's like a method of like getting people to relate more and 
um, interact more with your content, which I totally get. Like, I mean, I've done that on TikTok. But, like, damn! They accidentally made me feel like such a strangeling. But definitely not the fault of any of the artists. That's why I posted that thing, just highlighting one that I really enjoyed, which is the um, person who made it about Tars from Interstellar. <laughs> that made me laugh so much. Okay. Do you have any tips on how to get your art seen more? Says Miss Sunday Best. Um, I think maybe. I think I'm actually probably going to make a video on this, but I think you need to maybe look into some like marketing stuff and just marketing theory because that's how I sort of changed my whole strategy. That's how I really like made my art account sort of grow. But maybe um, for just starting out like without any marketing knowledge, probably draw fan art of things that you enjoy. Only of things you enjoy though. If you don't like something, don't draw fan art of it. Because it's not going to bring you joy when people interact and see it. But if you look, if you really like Splatoon, like I did, then just draw Splatoon stuff. Like, I think it's more valuable to, valuable to get to know people in like, fan communities rather than to like, build some people who are like, passively into your art. You know what I mean? Like, people who will be super excited when you post and like, and like, wait for and expect your artworks and stuff. I think that's that's more important than getting like a uh, hundred thousand likes or something. Because trust me I've experienced both so I know which one is is way more fulfilling and way more valuable as well. Okay render this hair a little bit more this is so awesome. Now I've figured out the rendering style. I can just sort of like go on autopilot and yap. It's awesome. I think I might make this slightly darker. I can make it slightly more saturated, possibly. Uh oh, that's the wrong direction. Yeah, I think that's slightly better. Oh, is it? No, I like it. It feels very bright though. Zeppin1, what do you think of the Spider-Verse art style? I think it's so awesome. But to be honest... Wait, what was that movie that came before it? Hold up. I'm trying to remember, but I saw a TikTok the other day and really opened my eyes. It was like this other movie that had done like that super expressive sort of animation style before Spider-Verse. Oh. I can't believe I'm forgetting it. That's so ironic. That is so ironic. I'm burning my retinas in the best way. I know this is sizzling me too. It's very like bright. This is an even pure white. Like if we put pure white next to this color, take a look at this. Isn't that a bit crazy? It's all color relativity. And now look, I take that color away and your eyes are going to fade back into thinking this is pure white. Literally magic. Literally magic. Do not ever use pure white because you want to make sure that you keep that pure white for the brightest of brights. Because look, this looks this looks like white, doesn't it? Pretty much. Will you make this into a sticker sheet? Um, maybe into individual stickers. I think that would be cute. But these are probably going to turn into charms first and foremost. And I'm not sure if I should have like a double up of like stickers and charms. But I mean, I made the design so I might as well just like flog it in every way possible. And they're cute, so. Why not? I think I'm gonna add a bit more variation to this here. No, it's still a little bit too light. Yes, it was Arcane! That's what I was thinking of! I like had the picture in my mind, but I was like... <laughs> I'm glad I didn't say what I thought it was called. I just forgot the name. That would have been embarrassing. Okay. But yeah, Arcane... Arcane walked so Spider-Verse could run. 
And I like, I saw and compared both the art style. I was like, they're totally right though. Like Arcane really did start that. And I think it, it was older. I still need to watch it. Still. It's been on my list for like so long. Because the art, I mean, it's just amazing. Hmm, I think I want a bit more of like a purpley blue for this like second line color. A little bit lighter than that. Yeah. And maybe a bit of shadows on the face of this purple. Let's do this. And a little eyebrow. So let's add the eyebrows in like last. Just cover those up for now. For now, we'll come back. Sorry, I'm focusing right now. What's chat up to? Have you ever had a childhood show you enjoyed or something? Other than Yokai Watch, which is always the obvious answer to like, what's your favorite media questions? I really enjoyed Grudge Band so much. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of that show, but it was like about this, this little band of kids and they would try and um, basically upset the lead singer's sister, Trina, because she'd like write really, really good lyrics in her diary and they'd use it to perform songs. So, I mean, it sounds like really brain rotty, but oh my God, I loved it. I think I've watched every single episode. And I like, Loki used to ship, there was like, so Trina was like the sort of mean girl, older sister who had like a massive crush on this, like really dopey guy like classic and then she had like this um this like best friend who was always like really supportive of her and like just always was like by her side and i low-key used to ship them i'm not gonna lie to you maybe i'll even draw ship art that is actually such a good idea raj ben no that is not what i'm talking about fortnite burger 41 grunge band grunge band that show is canadian you know Yes, I heard. But I'm like, I'm not sure if it like aired anywhere else, to be honest. Like other than Canada and Australia. I know it's like a little bit sheltered, but to be honest, like a lot of Canadian stuff was on Aussie TV. I don't know. To me, like all Americans just like watch Disney Channel and Nickelodeon. I didn't have either of those as a kid growing up. I didn't have like paid TV. Just had like free view. Which was good, because I mean, like, why pay when there's already good shows on TV like Grudge Band? Oh my gosh, this, like, this shading and highlight looks so interesting. I love it. <clears throat> Doja Cat first owner would actually go hard. But I don't know if I want to, like, support her at the moment, not gonna lie. And to be honest, like, I've learned some things about Nicki Minaj, like, since drawing that for Sona. I'm like, oh, I definitely won't be doing that again. Like, I had no idea. Okay, where are we at with this sketch? Okay, there's another little, like, fluffy part that's supposed to come out here. Oh, 
Oh, should I highlight them a little bit more? See, on this side, it's like very, very... Oh, that's a nice colour. I think I'll stick to that. The vibe in the stream today is very calm. Very chilled. Literally the definition of trust the process. The definition of it. Look at this sketch. Well, to be honest, the sketch is kind of cute too, but... The process is being trusted right now. Zeppin1, how'd you get into content creation? Um... To be honest, like, I've always wanted to, like, be a digital artist, like, on the internet and, like, have people see my art and whatnot. Like, I started out on DeviantArt. To be honest, that wasn't me trying to, like, get famous on there or anything. I was literally just trying to make, like, 10 cents off my adopts. So I spent all my time doing. But I don't know. I've, I feel like I've always just wanted to, like, give back to the art community. Because, it like, when I was growing up, it just made me feel like a part of something. And just, like, validated. Like, there was other people like me. It was just like such a good experience, so I just- I think I just really want to contribute to that. Yeah. Also, it'd be cool to like make art my career because I've always tried to deny that like creative part of me. I've always been like, oh no, I'll just- I'll get a corporate job and I swear I'll love it and- and just- I just gotta like get there first and- and test it out and see. But I think deep down I know that will never satisfy me, like I always want to create. So maybe that's why I just sort of have to make it like financially feasible for myself. But yeah, that's why. Roxy, Zeppin1, I'm procrastinating on releasing my first video. Any tips? I don't know what to do for it. Um, to be honest, for your first video, like don't even try and make a good, like, sorry, that sounded, that came off a bit weird, but like, don't even worry about trying to make it perfect or good. Just put it out there. Like, that is the achievement with your first video. Like, my first video, it's archived now, but it was pretty bad. It got like 100 views. And, um, not saying that like everyone's first video is automatically bad, but I think it's better for you to purposely create something that is like B grade instead of perfect just so you can sort of learn the platform a little bit and get familiar because yeah that's that's just as valuable as like you know getting 100k views so i think like release it even if it's not perfect even if you think it's bad because trust me people who watch it like the 100 people or so who find it and watch it maybe more who knows they'll love it so just i think just just post. Stop procrastinating. I think we fill in this hat now. What colour is this hat? Black. Okay. I think I might use this colour instead and instead just like sort of shade it into being black rather than like, have it black at the start, if that makes sense. That's way too dark. We really are using, like, lighter colours with this artwork. Zeppin was talking about ABC3, yes I was. I grew up on it so much. Every like Saturday morning watching Good Game Spawn Point, oh. Felt like that show was made for me, it was awesome. Okay, so we have sort of a black cap, let's shade this in a little bit. So I sort of want to like layer this blue colour until it becomes... Actually, let's just fill that in. 
It's just so cute. It looks so dreamy as well. It's like this little dreamy puff. Like, like it doesn't look like, like she doesn't look like she exists in like the normal realm. She looks like celestial or something. Which is perfect, which is exactly what I was going for. Let's fill that in. Still not sure how I feel about this hair right here. I don't want it to curl up a bit more. This. Right? Maybe a little bit more down. I think that's kind of nice. Hmm. I don't know if that looks better or worse. Let's flip test it. I kind of like it better, not gonna lie. This is such a banger. Try not to headbang challenge. Impossible. Does so it create a nice contrast with the hat or maybe make it thicker? True, it is already pretty thick though. Hmm. Just look at the reference. Maybe it needs to come to a bit more of a point. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait. Has anyone in this chat ever had a Hokkaido... Sorry, Hokkaido cheese tart? Has anyone ever eaten one of those? Because that's what I'm thinking about right now. Oh, I want to go to the mall and eat one. So yummy. Zeppelin 1, have you ever heard of or seen Ninjago? One of my favourite animated movies is actually the Lego Ninjago movie and I know like as a fan that probably makes you cringe because it's like not, it's not um, very like, it doesn't represent the actual series that well but as a standalone movie I freaking love it. I love the characters. I love the animation. It's just beautiful. I never thought I'd like be putting a, a Lego Ninjago movie, like a Lego movie spin-off basically in my top five animated movies and it's at number one i'm not even gonna kid you hmm oh wait milky way cookie actually has actually has a whistle and it's it doesn't look like this but do i just use my design of the whistle because the other one's kind of ugly i'm not gonna lie it's like this box, it looks like, it looks like this. If you look on the sprite, you can see it, I think. It looks like that. Should I, should I use my own pink whistle design or should I use like the actual, it literally, it doesn't even look good. It looks like a vape. Yikes. Okay, use your design. All right. Okay, one person said it, so I'll do it. Just for you. Now the struggle is, do I go and get a Hokkaido cheese tart, or do I stay and play Frosty Fest? I don't know anymore. Okay, let's fill in this star. <gasps> I'm gonna have so much fun rendering this. I just know it. Like this art style genuinely makes me enjoy drawing so much. To be honest, so does my others, but like, I'm just generally excited by drawing. everyone up to in chat what are these bells chiming are you talking about like the song or the random like bell sound effects keep drawing Hi Kemdra, welcome to the stream. 
Oh my gosh, thank you to the 150 people watching right now. That is amazing. We're drawing Milky Way cookie. Let's let's quickly show off our past cookie designs and we're working on Milky Way right now. We have um our Josh Hutchison drawing <laughs> in the corner. Very, very professional. We keep it very professional here. I really want to add highlights, but I also want the hair to look like a fluffy cloud and I don't know if that'll take away from the I don't think I should add a highlight. I should be sparing with the highlights, I think. Ish, maybe. I'll probably cave later. I'll definitely cave later. Oh, I sort of want to change this muted sort of color to this. This slightly brighter. Oh. Nah, it's got to stay that. Yep. Looks so much better. Let's shade this a little bit more. Oh my gosh, my rendering is so messy and I do not know how to make it not messy. I think it's literally just how I draw. Like, look at this. This one pixel of random colour. I just can't help myself. Let's do this line up here just so the eyes stand out. I've been trying to focus more lately on like creating um, artworks that like sort of make sense to look at, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't, but like I want the most detailed parts to be like on the face and I want like the values to be working together and stuff like that. I don't know, it's been a goal of mine. Maybe to like bring some underlying theory to my art. Which I've never ever had. I was used to just think it was annoying that like people would prattle on about this random theory. And like I didn't need it at the time to make a good drawing, but I mean it is useful, I just think in moderation. Like you definitely don't need to learn perspective and anatomy before you start drawing, like just start drawing. You'll get you'll pick that stuff up on the way, trust me. Art schools and art professionals seem to think otherwise. Hmm. Someone said, can you add a glow dodge layer on the face of a bright color to highlight the face? Oh, you can add a glow dodge layer. To be honest, I'll give you my opinion on, um, color effects layers, avoid them at all costs. <laughs> and I say that as someone who used to use them so much and rely on them, and I still do use them honestly, but I think sometimes there's a bit of an over-reliance on them rather than just like understanding the colors. Because, and the problem with that, like that would usually be fine, but the problem with that is that it means it limits you. So if you, if you do all your shading by um, adding a multi multiply layer and setting it on purple, um, that's really great. Like it makes it super easy shading. However, if maybe you're drawing in, um, you know, a lighting scenario where you want a two tone shadow, then like it's just sort it's just more difficult to have control over how your overall artwork looks if you only know how to use um, layer effects. But I mean, if you know how to use both layer effects and also just um, control the like artistic decisions you make, that is perfect. Like that is the ideal situation. But I just find I have to use them less because I fall into an over-reliance on them, me personally. I think you're making this little bit up here kind of fluffy, like this. Fill this one in, add a little bit of a highlight here. Oh, my back. My posture and back is going to be so painful in a couple years, I can just feel it. 
Zephyr one, do you have any tips for getting colors? Um, I think my tip would be to push the boundaries of of what you consider to be each color. So, like for example, if I want a green, I have to consider that it's not just these greens up here that I can choose from. I can also roam a bit into yellow and make a green still. And this green, even though you like mine or like it, it might be useful and you can actually make quite a nice green, I think. Well, I'm not used to this. So just like push the boundaries of what you consider. Like don't just rely on hue. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Also value these. I think that's a point I make in my color wheel video. That um, this isn't your selection of, of hues. This also impacts. Like it may not feel like it. And it doesn't like theoretically impact the hue. But it impacts the ways your colors can like potentially come out. So I think you just need to consider more than just hue. I think that's my tip. It's sort of hard to like make a tutorial on it or something because it's, it's more of like a learned, like a trained sort of skill. I mean, I could, I could try and come up with some exercises for it. I think that would be interesting. I think it's more valuable to just try and apply that. Oh my gosh, I love doing this like triple tone, two tone shading. So lovely. I might decrease the saturation of this a tiny bit. Have... And what's the little feet color? It's just that same. I think I might make this, this hair on the other side go down a little bit. I'll just change the shape. I'm gonna have it start from up here instead, and then I'm gonna have it maybe so it looks a little less like a like a bun or something, and more just like hair that's like floppy, sort of like that. Hold on, let me let me remove this. Let's flip. Flipping is so important. There's like one general art tip I can give out is like flip your canvas all the time because it will reveal. It's not about like, because I mean, no one's going to see it when it's flipped, really. Let's be honest. But it helps reveal what might be sort of inconsistent and off with your art. But never try and aim for symmetry. Never try and aim for symmetry in the eyes, especially. I love how the line art on her hat is a lighter colour than the hat colour. Yeah, I'm probably- I actually sort of like that effect, to be honest. I might keep it for the inside lines, but I'm probably gonna, um, maybe darken the line art on the outside. I'll see how we go. <gasps> oh my gosh, this- this song brings back simpler times. Embarrassing confession right here. When I found out that eShop was, um, was shutting down, I actually spent about, I think about like a hundred dollars on badge arcade because I wanted all the badges before they disappeared. So, you know, Zep's got the super responsible spending habits. I can make a joke about it in my most recent video. Luckily I have an adult job, which I use to sustain all this, all these horrible activities. How am I going to push this as... Does pineapple belong on pizza? Absolutely, it's my favourite. It's absolutely delicious. There's so much space! You know, I actually could be making Milky Way more dramatic. Like, look at Clover. I could be going crazier with this hair. Hmm. 
How did you get into Yokai Watch? What? Oopsie, that went out. What? A, what about it made your special interest? I. I don't know. I think it's mostly the art, to be honest. Like the art just really caught my eye. I love it so much. Um. And just the character designs, just the world, you know? And what got me into it was actually my friend suggested to get the demo when I was at school. We used to talk a lot about um, 3DS games and stuff like that. So he was like, oh, you should get the demo of this new game coming out. It's awesome. I was like, okay, I'll do that. And I was taken. I needed the full game so badly. And then I got even more obsessed somehow. Now I do want to make this design a bit crazier. Because look at Clover. Clover's just absolutely going... Going bonkers over there. I think surely this hair, right? Let's do like a, a test sketch. Stephen one, who are those little critters on your banner? Those are actually yokais from Yokai Watch. They're a series of stickers I made, which will be coming back this year. Hmm. And yeah, I just love Yokai Watch so much. So I decided to make them my banner. Usually the shape they use is like this. sort of tough to make it like go out oh but I sort of like it though like look at that compared to that I think it's so much more Milky Way and Clover's already so intense okay how about I bring this in a tiny bit <clears throat> oh <laughs> Jero started the Wasteland wait Waitress. That is so awesome. I can't wait to see it. Maybe I should make the hair like this. What do you guys think about this? This hair? Because these are getting turned into charms, so it's kind of tough to make it like that shape. But I think it could still work, to be honest. I just drew like a star there or something. Maybe like this. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so done with this stupid OK and cancel button being mixed around. It's causing me so much grief. Step in one, if you're comfortable answering this, how old are you? I'm 18. It's okay, I'm comfortable to answer. And... Let us draw this on. We're going to be changing this whole deal. Really go and screw it, we're going full Milky Way mode. It's all or nothing. Oh wait. Do we like the longer hair or does it look sort of weird and off balance? It's so so tough. Wait. Do we- wait, do we do the long hair or the short hair? I'm gonna wait and see what chat has to say. Long hair or short hair? Undo this real quick. So that's short hair. This is long hair. Long? 
Three people saying long. Someone said you should compress it slightly. I sort of agree. But also, if we're gonna go long, we'd wanna go completely long, right? I think you should make the bottom of the hair a bit more flat, but long. Oh, is that what you mean? Like compress it like this? Oh my gosh, so true. So, so true. So it's like less chunky. Yeah, true. Cause if we are making it longer then we can like, so sort of distribute the volume. What would I do without the stream chat? What would I actually do? You guys save me from making a decision that would have had catastrophic impacts. Okay. So, I'm gonna fill in this little side bit. And... Get rid of that, that's excess now. Maybe slightly thicken this a little bit. My gosh, I can't believe we've already been here for two hours. That's crazy. I always start off the stream being like, oh, this cookie's only going to take like one hour. So easy, so simple. It never does. Never ever. I'd be underestimating the process. Let's thin this out a little bit from the inside. Flower belt cookie. Okay, Zeppin, do you go by she? Curious. Um, she, they, I'd say. Both is good. Either or, I don't mind. But, like, when you're referring to my persona, this is like, this is, this is just a, like, you don't have to abide by this. But when you're referring to my persona, Zeppi, like, the drawing, I'd rather they because... They're like designed to be very gender neutral. I just sort of like that. Hmm. I think I need to make this hair a little bit more hair looking. It's looking like sort of a bag at the moment. Let's. There we go. It looks so weird with the wrinkles. I'm trying to do like foreshadowing. And not foreshadowing, foreshortening, but it's not really working. Maybe more of like this. Like it sort of goes up into the little star clip. Do think about that. And then we can add the... We can add the bit of that shading. I think it's like multicolored as well, it's like not just white. Bloop! <laughs> What's on Eshays? Any interesting stories with them? One of mine when I wore a Mickey Mouse sweater, one screamed Mickey Mouse at me. They are so chaotic. I mean, I, I see them sometimes at like train stations and stuff, but to be honest, it was worse when I was in high school because there was like a heap of eches at my high school. Um, there was this one time that one threatened to throw himself off. Like we have a skywalk, which is like this, this like stairway, which links these two really high buildings. And he threatened to throw himself off one. And like the whole school had to like go on like lockdown and stuff. Oh, there was also this one Eshe girl who everyone really liked, but like in a, in a funny way. Cause she always used to like cause so much drama at school. And there was this one time that she had a big yell fest at a teacher and she stormed off. She was like swearing and carrying on, you know, like the normal Eshe stuff. 
and she storms off into a building and suddenly, I don't know, it's this hive mind thing, we all just started applauding. Like the entire school, like I'm not kidding, like every single kid from 7 to 12 was was applauding this girl for like throwing literally the biggest fit we'd ever seen. Like it was just some like act that we were all just like, oh jolly good show, thank you. Thank you for the performance. It was awesome though, like the entire school. <laughs> Jeez, I forgot about that. Okay. I think this is super cute. We have so many like cool tone characters going on here though. I think we need another warm tone. I hope that Mango gets picked. I feel like I'm missing a bit of Milky Way's, like, sort of streaky, colourful hair. Let's add a little bit of a pink in here. A little bit of that. And another streak of pink. What do you think about that? No, I'm two hours late, says Lee. That's okay, welcome to the stream regardless. Happy to have you here. Hope you enjoy. Also, make sure to give the stream a like. It lets the algorithm know that it's it's a good time. Maybe you'll um, recommend it to more people. <gasps> this is turning out so cute. Oh my gosh. I love drawing these cookie run characters. It's so fun. Let us fill this in. I used to think that um, the Milky Way and was it like Unicorn Cream were like the same character. <laughs> oh, I think when Milky Way came out was about the time that I left Cookie Run for a little while. Went on a little hiatus. So adorable. I might add a little extra colour up here. Maybe make it a bit lighter so it sort of like blends into the into like the sclera colour. I don't even know if cookies have scleras, bro. I think I would not eat clover cookie too pointy. Too much going on, too much hair. I would definitely eat sorbet shark. That looks like like a gummy. Squid ink, I don't think so. Probably be like a weird texture because of like the ink. And um, Milky Way, absolutely. I'd roast Milky Way over a, a nice campfire first as well. Get all crispy. Then just in one bite. Chomp it away. I think I'm going to increase the saturation of these slightly. Zeppelin 1, who's your favourite cookie? I believe I've been asked this before, but I will tell you. It is, um... Wait, sorry, I'm just checking the colour of this hair thing. It's actually Herb Cookie, because I like the fact that he goes bald in the winter. Canonically. It's awesome. I think these star candies actually need to be slightly lighter. Let's change it up real quick. Yes, and then the inside has this sort of like, this like swirly color. It's like purple and stuff. So let's add some of these colors and then use them to do the rest of the rendering. 
It was like that, and then what else? Like a sort of yellowy. The song is like POV, you're about to obliterate your siblings in Mario Kart. I think, okay, we need like a darker purpler color. Okay, that's not what I was talking about. That's a bit more like it. Not quite, actually. That either. Oopsie. Jeez, I'm really not used to this um, HLS. It's really tripping me up. Increase the saturation. Okay. Time to render this star candy. Let's add this color for the shading. And I need to be a bit more. There we go. That's awesome. That's perfect. Let's delete these colors in the middle then. By not even Mari. I'll do that chibi, um, that chibi tutorial soon, I promise. Okay. Filling this blue little star candy. It's gonna be so cute. I gotta make sure the shape is right though. Let's just, let's just double check. I think that's pretty nice. It looks like confetti or something. These are so fun. Honestly, my strategy is to just like put random triangles everywhere and hope that it looks like something. It's sort of working. I'm like, I swear I'm, I'm doing this on purpose. There is... No, I'm just... Everything is random. It just sort of ends up looking like it by some miracle. Literally half the time when you look at me drawing, if you think for a second, oh my god, they really know what they're doing, huh? Remove that thought from your mind, I'm literally just making it up as I go. That looks awesome, but right? If tell me it doesn't, you'll be lying. We need to fix up this line art color though, maybe make it a bit lighter. This and fill that in. I really like that purple colour. Zeppelin 1, have you heard of Doki Doki Literature Club? Yes, I have. I've played it before as well. There was this one part of the game, I think it was like... You had to like skip past a bunch of words because it was like, I don't know, part of like the... When it gets a little crazy, I won't give too much away. But I skipped so much that I like skipped over something important. I was like, oopsie. I can miss a whole chunk of the story. Honestly, I don't really like visual novels that much, so yeah, I was like, just spamming. But I wanted to play it because it, like everyone was talking about it at the time. I was like, I want to know what's up. I mean, I found out, but at what cost? At what cost? I think we need to add a little bit of yellow in here. A bit of like a yellow streak as well. Just 
Bend this out a little, make it a bit more dynamic. Play. Oh, I might change the colour though, it's a bit too yellow. Maybe something in between those slightly darker. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Zeppin One, how did you come up with your username? Um so there was this i used to have like a bunch of different instagram accounts like i i used instagram a lot and i used to go by like a ton of different names i was like ayochi at one point five star tuna the kitty cat 181 either adopts for a while and deviantart but one day i was like wouldn't it be cool if i just had like an absolute gibberish name that like no one's ever heard of before so i could just sort of make it my own thing like it didn't come with any sort of impression I was like, I need to be complete gibberish, because there are some, I feel like certain names just give off like certain vibes. Like if you have two eyes in your name, it's sort of like a, like a cute, like kawaii vibe, because I mean, kawaii has two eyes in it as well. But I was like, I need to come up with something just completely gibberish. And the first thing that came to my mind was Zeppin. It just like summoned there. I didn't even have to like go through a process. It was just like, oh. Zeppin. And then I added one because I needed um, a number for it to be able to be in Instagram. Because you need to have like a, a five character long name. So yeah, that's how my username was born. And it's really grown on me. I'll probably never ever change it. Some people say it's hard to remember, but to be honest, I hope it's not my username that they remember. I hope it's my art and they'll find my username eventually. I think Zeppi is also quite easy to remember. And at this point, if you look up Zeppi, you'll probably find me. Hmm. This is so cute. Let's add some line art to this whistle. Zeppin 1, who's your favourite Amori character? I actually haven't played Amori. I'd love to on stream though. I mean, I've played like like five minutes of it, but then I'll, I got bored. <laughs> Zeppin 1, colours are so yummy. Colours are so yummy. I'm sorry, I'm having a, like, aneurysm trying to read that. Colours are so yummy candy, they're literally star candies if they were art. I think I sort of get the gist, thank you. hue shift on the shadow. It's all about it. Apologies to Dev Sisters for calling their whistle design ugly, but it is. Soz. Then... What do you think of that? I think we need to change up the line art colour for these star candies. Maybe add some liner on the inside as well. Okay, I sort of like this bottom one, but I don't like the top one. That was kind of weird. Hmm. 
I think that looks awesome. It looks so spiky. Zeppin1, how many gems do you currently have in Cookie Run Kingdom? Wow, I really know the flex check me, huh? I have seven... I think I have... No, not 17,000. 14,000. That's all. Alakazam, Zeppin1, have you ever heard of Hello Neighbor? Yes, I was on the internet as a child, so absolutely. Zeppin1, can you draw Carl from Lore of Talos? I've never even heard of that franchise, I'm going to be so honest. I'm mostly doing requests for Cookie Run characters, and I'm quite slow, so we're taking it very one at a time. I mean, I'd rather do an art stream where I'm like, invested in what I'm drawing. Rather than do like pure requests. Because I know I can like turn this into merch and stuff in the future and I'll cherish it and love it. And be excited to come back for more. Because I feel like there's a, a, quite a few people here. I also want to make it fair so I make sure I do votes. Okay, that's the other one done. I think I really should either like add dark aligner on the outside or lighten this on the inside. I think I'll lighten this slightly just like that. Maybe this side as well. Maybe this even. Go quite light with this because the other colour is white. So cute. Step one, have you considered making a cookie run OC? I don't think I have the design skills, honestly. It would probably be pitiful. Unless I like, converted another character into a cookie run design. I could probably do that. Zeppelin 1, what cookies do you plan on drawing or is it a secret? Um, it's actually not a secret, so everyone decides at the end of like, at the end of each cookie drawing, everyone votes and decides on which one I should draw next. At the moment we have, I think, Parfait, Mango and Stardust in the running. I might take Stardust off though, because I sort of want to draw a bit more of a simpler design next. And I've heard that Stardust is, um, quite tricky. So cute. Definitely improved. Even just over four drawings, it's crazy. Okay, how about we start rendering this hat now? It's been left a bit blank for too long. I'm gonna make it a bit shiny. I think that would be cool. And also have it ebb off though. This has got to be especially shiny as well. That looks so cool. Let's neaten it up a little though later. Yeah, I love it. I don't think the hat is supposed to be as shiny, so I'll remove this highlight here. Maybe add a bit of a softer highlight. Like this. Maybe use it to like make it a bit fabricy. Like that. And then oh, or should I just I don't know, this is tricky. This is tough. Right, I'll get rid of that highlight for now, and I'll add 
I'll add that in. I think that's quite nice. Damn, why am I procrastinating so much on the hat? Gotta get back to it. Oh, I'm not actually. Oh my gosh, look at me again. I literally catch myself out and then go straight back to the same behavior. I think I might do a bit of color adjustment overall. Let's take a look. Let's get out the tonal correction. This is my favorite. Level correction. You can't see it at the moment, unfortunately. Hold up, I'll pull it into here. Oh no, I can't. It's right. You can just see the colors moving. That makes it a bit lighter. Makes it a bit more saturated. How about that? Look at that. Look at the comparison. Oh, wait, not much changed. Oh, wait, yes, a lot changed. Look. bit more of a deeper colour. Zeppin, can you look up Carl from Law of Telos? Okay, I will later. Zeppin1, where should I put this quick mech drawing when I'm done? Um, if you put it in the art channel and then you can, um, you can probably tag me in it. I'd love to see since it's based off, um, it's based off my request, I suppose. Oopsie. That kind of looks cool though. Or does it? Wait. Now nah, we better keep it like normal. Make these inside lines a tiny bit darker. highlight down here is a bit too chunky I might add like a second one could bounce one underneath <gasps> Tomodachi Life Island Day love this song what a banger such a great album Tomodachi Life official soundtrack go check it out hmm Zeppin one don't ever delete Josh please I'm- I won't delete Josh, he's- he's gonna stay there. Maybe sometimes transparently, but... He's gonna stay. This is Milky Way, Josh. A whistle. There we go. Might add a bit more of a highlight to it. I feel like this colour as well is quite desaturated at the moment. I might increase the saturation on there a tiny bit. Don't want to stand out too much, but it's going to decrease the colours on here.
the whistle. Okay, let's add the outline to this sleeve. Then what's the pattern on the sleeve? Like a little star, like a little gilded star. As six points. Sort of like this. Oh, that is so cute. Zeppin 1, is there any other career you think you could go into other than art? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe like... Hmm. I don't know at this stage, to be honest. Maybe marketing. I like marketing. I do marketing already. Every day. My art. I'm doing marketing right now. Yeah, maybe that. I think being a chef would be cool. If I ever want, like, a break or to, like, live somewhere else and just sort of have a chill job. Not chill. Being a chef definitely isn't chill. But it's, like... It's chill in the sense that um, if you, like after each day, like your job is over, you don't have to think about it or like carry any of that weight back to, like back onto your life. Like once the night is over and everyone's fed, it's over. Zeppin 1, when you search up Laura Tellus, then can you do it in the stream? Um, I usually only do doodles for like people who give, so, you know, wink wink. Mostly focusing on your own characters today though, because I'm drawing them for upcoming um, conventions that I'm doing. I want to make them into some merch. And gonna fill that in. Oh my gosh, I've gotten so much better at rendering clothes. It's crazy. Hmm. Hair still does sort of look like it's floating. Might round off this edge a little bit. Bring this a little closer. There we go. Hmm. No, I sort of don't like that. Swing back up to there. Hmm. Now what have we got left? Let's do the other sleeve. Oh, and this little like hood here. Got to do that as well. Okay, let's let's work this up. I think this is just a guideline, so let's get rid of that. Yeah, that was for the head, and then we have the little tie. I think the version with the sprite is a little bit more detailed in what that is. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, has a little star here as well. that. Oh, this design is so adorable. They really knew what they were doing. And that. <gasps> so cute. Zeppin 1, do you have a favourite anime? I really like Mob Psycho 100. I really love the art. I love the characters. So awesome. So, so awesome. I know people are mentioning Scott Pilgrim. I wouldn't say it's like one of my favorites, to be honest. That was pretty good. Enjoy uninterrupted videos with YouTube. <gasps> and get no. With ad -free Not the ad. Play. 
I thought right. I was on my Adlis account. Oh, it's because I started a new video. Dang, we've been here for a while. Okay, we're back into Liminal Nintendo music. This is getting eerie. I'm going to quickly switch accounts, though. It's a bit embarrassing. Not the ad snipe. Okay, we should get no ads now. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I'm on my premium account now. I really should switch over the premium to my art account because I like use it more anyways. But oh well. Thinking about Hokkaido cheese tart right now. We're definitely doing a simple character after this. Oh my gosh. Oh my dearie me. Buttons. I might make them like a sort of lighter color just so they don't stand out too much. It's wrong. Yeah, that's better. I'll move this one slightly as well, it's sort of in the wrong spot. That's a bit better. I'm gonna be honest, I joined this live stream because I saw Cookie Run redesign and saw Zeppelin ones live. Oh my gosh, well thank you for sticking around so long, Alakazam. That's such a specific search as well. I mean, we aren't redesigning anything, but we are drawing. Should I do a redesign video in the future? It seems like quite a popular thing at the moment. I don't know what I'd redesign, though. Or would I do, like, an as-humans thing? This character as human. song is this people people who get it get it Zeppelin one what's your favorite music artist if too many lol I really like um Deet and Chris Anthony but at the moment I'm listening to more Rocky I have to know the name of this song well it's the first song on the liminal Nintendo music playlist this is one of my favorites like one of my favorite playlists it has Spy 2 music in it and it's all like the bangers Do a stream where you draw what people ask you in the chat. Kay, stop trying to get me to draw this person from this random thing that you like. <laughs> Please. I might do it as a special, but I definitely wouldn't do it normally. Because the thing is, I like most of my drawings to be either like for a commission, for a collab, or um, like for my OCs, or for something I can turn into merchandise. Like, I don't like drawing stuff, and it's just, like, that's all. It's just there to, like, exist. Well, I don't like putting too much time and effort into it. That's why I don't think I'd ever do, like, proper requests. I just don't have that much time to draw, and I need to, like, optimize it, you know? So I'm sorry. Step in one, dev cup. <gasps> Can you make a Roblox stream with your fans, please? That would be so cool. I've done I've done that before, actually, in my Discord server. I would love to. Probably not a YouTube stream, though. Probably just a Discord stream. Because YouTube streams are mainly for just, like... I don't know. I, I don't want to, like, facilitate any... I don't think it's safe to, like, have miners, like, on my stream talking and their voices are, like, kept forever. Which is why I keep it um, for Discord only, because like you can't, you can't like hold on to that and like store it. Just like protect safety a little bit, protect privacy. 
Because, I mean, I can be on here. I'm like, I'm sort of like a YouTuber, so I can be up here just like talking. But if it's just random people, especially miners, I don't think I want to like broadcast you that widely and that permanently. You know what I mean? This song is so good. I never thought I'd stay for two hours straight on a live stream. I usually don't even handle staying for like 15 minutes lol. Just gotta say your streams are so cozy and nice. I love them. Oh my gosh. That is exactly the vibe I want to cultivate. I'm so happy to hear. I hope I keep it interesting as well. I mean, hopefully the speed paint, well not speed paint, the slow paint. Very slow paint is interesting enough. Shade this tie a little. Does the tie go over or under the, the little- oh wait no, the string goes like a bit lower than the tie. Way down here. Sort of even over the buttons. Oh no, I might do it my way, I kind of like it. I kind of like it better going under the tie. Make it look like gold. Just add the really hard shadows. Shading. I think let's make this look a little bit like fabric as well. I don't know if that had the desired effect. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Should we add another tone of shading in here? Deppin streams are my therapy. Oh, <laughs> Honestly, me too. I love streaming. By the way, so this is the Goofy song. I'm deleting this line. I don't like it. Make this look more like gold. This is how you do it, folks. Darker colour, lighter colour. Boom. Amazing. Choose one side to colour in. I'm doing the, the top left this time. So cute. Oh my gosh. Alakazam, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, so no, I guess. Hmm. I think this this top one needs to be like slightly lighter. Let me just change that. Little bright colour up here. And let's what are some tips for first joining the art community my friend is asking um I'd say probably like draw fan art because you'll not only like You'll not only meet other artists, but also fans of media that you like. 
I think that's a really great way. Like, I entered mostly using Splatoon fan art. I mean, I was on the art community before, but I didn't draw fan art for stuff. So I was just sort of like, I didn't meet anyone who was like specifically like well suited to me, if that makes sense. So yeah, draw fan art. That's what I'd suggest. I'm really, I really have been enjoying drawing these like star shaped, like sparkly things on this character. Like this as well. Like the little star candy, so cute. Let's mix up this gem a little. I tell myself it doesn't need to be completely perfect. I'm sort of keep refining it. Let's add some more variation in here. Colors. What does it look like on the sprite? Oh, it's sort of. And this side's a little bit darker. So a Splatoon banger coming through. I wish I was around for like the heyday of um, Splatoon 2. Unfortunately, I didn't have a switch back then, which is honestly heartbreaking. I wish I had a switch earlier. I missed out on so much cool stuff. Like Animal Crossing during COVID, I didn't have any of that. Have you seen the next Cookie Round Kingdom update announcement video? I didn't even know there was announcement videos. Zeppelin, can you draw a golden cheese cookie? Um, I mean, eventually we'll probably draw them, but we can probably put in the vote next time. Stick around and suggest it, see if anyone else does. To be honest, I do want to do a simpler cookie next though. I like to get three done each stream. Pretty cool. I think it's like a little bit different to what the original is like. That's okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of blue here to like sort of shade it all together. And then it's sort of like connected to the white, so I don't want to have like too dark of a line art color right next to it. So maybe this is a bit better. I think so. Like that. And then maybe let's let's actually summon a new color for this. Green? We don't have a green yet. I think maybe maybe not green. A bit more blue. Zeppin, why do you like Splatoon so much? I just, I love the designs. I love the character designs. I'm so simple. I'm just like... I just love character design, honestly. That's also why I like Yokai Watch so much, because I love the, the way the Yokais look. And just the whole like aesthetic of the franchise. It's really unique, I think. So I'm a fan. Yeah, I just love the, the customizability of the characters as well. Like they always look fashionable no matter if you like put put together like the most garbage fit ever, it'll be like fashionable in sort of a meta way because inklings and um octolings are just so naturally cool. I love it. Wow, this cookie is almost done. Are we missing anything? Not really. It's just this hat left. Let's finish that up then. Step in one, can you make a coquette custom cookie? I'm not doing any customs at the moment. Just doing the designs that are in the game. 
Side Order. What's your opinion on Side Order? I'm very excited. I'm very excited to play it. I actually haven't gotten the other DLC, but I think I'll buy them both when Side Order comes out. To be honest, I'm not super into, like, agent lore and stuff like that. But I'm still keen. Still very keen. I would have loved to play, um... The DLC in Splatoon 2, though. That looked awesome, and I loved, um... Marina and Pearl in that. I really want them to come back in side order. I mean, they sort of are as, like... Dead fish in that little robot. Like, sort of. That's not really them. I just want Marina. In side order, and just both in general. Hmm. What about this gem? Okay. Let's work on this hat a bit more now. Let's fix up this shading here. It's a little bit messy. Seven one, you're so talented. Thank you. Thank you so much. Does anyone remember when artists on TikTok had like mega beef with people calling them like talented or skilled? It was so weird. They were like, um, actually it takes practice. Yeah, we know, that's why we're calling you talented, dumb. Awkward. That was such a weird trend. There's certain ones which I just stick out of because I know they're gonna go bad and that was one of them. tips on shading Zephyr one um I think um do your own manual shading customize each shading color to um the texture you're drawing and yeah pay attention to the texture sometimes I disregard the light source though not gonna lie I just do my shading wherever I sort of like it because I mean I'm not doing industry grade art or anything so I can just sort of have a bit of freedom Yes, cat knows all my talent doesn't come for free. And like, the thing is, one of my mutuals started that trend. M Mania Lin, she has like a webtoon and her sonar is like this like really pretty blonde lady. Well, she started that trend, right? And her original, like the original thought behind it was that like, it's people who like say you're so talented in like a mean spirited way. And like in her TikTok, like the person who was saying that was like clearly depicted as saying it in like a, oh, you're so talented, like as if like talent is the only thing that makes up like your art skill. So that's, that was her original gist. But then other people started recreating it, but they totally missed that point. And then they started making it like, oh, I hate it when people call me um, talented, but like they were starting to represent the people who were calling them talented as really like saying it in like a kind or nice way like they were sort of smiling and it looked really sincere and that was like not the original message it's supposed to be people who are demeaning like art skills like demeaning your art skills to nothing more than talent not just saying that you're a good artist in a nice way and you just don't like that compliment because you're picky no, that's like, that's not what the original message of the trend was supposed to be, but people just, people just misconstrued it so badly, which is always what happens on TikTok, because, you know, like, it doesn't take much for people to get a platform on there. It really doesn't take much, because videos go viral all the time, like, that's just the nature of, that's just the nature of how that place is, like, set up, you know? So... And also, like, negative stuff always airs better than positive stuff on TikTok. So, of course, it was just gonna, like, escalate. And suddenly, now now I'm afraid that a bunch of people think that, like, calling someone, calling an artist skilled or talented is gonna cause them great offence. Because trust me, for most normal people out there, it won't. 
unless you say it in that original mean-spirited way which Manaya Lin was trying to point out. What are you doing next? Mango or Parfait? I'd love to do either one of those, but I am going to leave it up to a vote. I think probably between those two, because I don't want to draw Stardust. Wait, how complicated is Stardust? I'm going to look that up right now. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Stardust cookie. Stardust cookie. Oh yeah, he's like super complicated. That hair, I just know I'll be like stressing over that hair for about five hours. Maybe for another time. Oh, and Kamiho Cookie. Yes, Kamiho Cookie is going on um, on the poll. What do we think of this hat? Might add a bit of a... Seven one. when you're not doing digital art, what's your favourite art media? I actually really like um, drawing in my sketchbook. And I love like finding things and pasting them all together, sort of like scrapbooking. But also with my own drawings. I find it really enjoyable and I love collecting stickers for that purpose as well and sticking stickers in my um in my sketchbook. Add a little bit of a line under here. Maybe accentuate this crease a little bit more. Nicki Minaj cookie sewn or help. <gasps> oh my gosh. Dude, why are those TikTok lives always so political or just weird? I don't know. I was actually thinking of um like using like a plugin or something to like broadcast my YouTube lives as well to TikTok. Just cause like why not, I guess. I don't know if my TikTok audience will sort of like that. But I mean maybe we can reel in like some new people from from sharing my streams on TikTok, but I don't think I have the proper feature yet. I have to stream currently just with my camera, which is not something I'm like particularly jazzed about doing. Especially because that means I can't really use my mic. Bit of a pain. Bit undoable. So I'll have to do like a micless um, stream or like just a stream which is like specifically for TikTok and not for um, YouTube. And I think I have to stream for like one hour. Maybe someday I'll do it. But it's kind of weird that I have to like get that out of the way first. I'll see you by Chaos Kara. Thank you so much for tuning into the stream. It was great having you here. Hmm. That might be almost done. I'm going to add a bright highlight here. Might be almost done. Yeah. 
Music is so ominous, oh my gosh. It's like fluffy cloud hair. Maybe shiny fire the eyes a tiny bit more. Just gives them a bit more contrast so they stand out. What do you think of that? And then maybe just figure out this little sparkle. Add a bit of hue variation. You know I love those sparkly eyes. I think that might be um, Milky Way cookie finished. Is there anything that I'm missing? I'm going to take a look at the delan real quick. No, pretty much not. So I guess it's time for us to put up the next poll for the next cookie. Okay, are your commissions open? And if so, where can my friend buy one? Um, if you go to my Instagram and click on my like little channel thing, like the broadcasting thing where you like send out messages, I advertise my commissions exclusively on there. So if I ever release some more in the future, um, people know about it on there. I was actually thinking of later doing a, not like later as in like later today, like later in the year, doing a thing where maybe I charge like ten dollars per chibi icon and i do like a hundred of them or something like that on an on one super long stream but honestly at the rate i'm going now i need to pick up the slack maybe after i do all these um cookie run characters i'll get really fast okay so let's put up these next cookies and I think we might do... Oh, sparkling cookie would have been good. I think we do... Speed draw. Let me quickly pause this music. Boom, sorry about that. Breaks the immersion a little bit. It's okay, I'll keep talking to you so everything's fine. You spelled Sonic wrong. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll do the Sonic cookies, who knows. Okay, let's take a look. Roblox speed draw. Joined in the middle of a round. Do you reckon we have time? Let me adjust the window size. There we go. Yes, let's do it. We'll do two rounds because we joined in the middle. Let's draw Lightning McQueen. What does he look like? Sort of like this, right? Ooh, yes. <laughs> this is atrocious. No. And then he's got, I don't know, wheels. Cars have wheels, right? He's got like eyes. Like his front windscreen is like eyes. He's got a 75 on the side of his. I'm only drawing half of him, it's sort of cropped. Oh dear. This is really something. I only have 30 seconds left. He's like, ka -chow. Wait, why does this kind of look like him though? Hold on. Am I doing something though? I'm turning him into, into a truck. Ciao. Let's see how this goes. It's not, not 95, not not 75. Oopsie. Um, excuse me. There's children on this game. Oh wow, that's that's stunning. I love this tree has a face on it. It's fine. If you look at it 75 long enough, it's basically a 95. Me looking at my math test results. Zeppin car. 
Dang! Four stars. I don't have any wheels. I'm quite disappointed by that. Where's my wheels, though? Oh, yeah, that's class. That's beautiful. That's stunning. Thank you, Flyndescape, for joining, though. I know you're going to absolutely obliterate me in the next round when you actually have time. Who plagiarized? <laughs> oh, wow. This looks like an absolute rover. Look at the giant, giant olive wheels that, that is on this amazing car. Life is a highway, cars. <gasps> the plagiarism! Nope. One star. I can't believe you stole my idea, whoever you are. What, mom? What? Did it explode? I mean, technically still is a car. I'm gonna give it four stars. It's a realistic car explosion. Oh, bugger. Didn't even make it on. Good job, Lane. I definitely should have given them s such a high vote. That's kind of painful. Zozo girl as well. The little... The little pimple car. I know. That's okay, I'm too generous. <clears throat> Let's wait for the next round to start. Let's do another. Let's do like one more. How's the poll going? Oh, Parfait's winning with 49%. That's pretty high up. Kamiho's 14. Not too shabby. How many votes have we got? 85. Oh, playground. Okay. Throw a slide. Slide number one. Oh, okay, that's a bit of a steep slide. This is a much better slide, okay. And then let's make everything like super like jelly colours. We have a whole three minutes for this, so plenty time. Plenty, plenty time. Let's actually turn this into a yellow pole just to make everything like sort of fun, silly vibe. And then a blue, like, castle wall. I don't know, they have, like, these little shop front things. You can, like, pretend to be in a shop on it. Okay, I need to, like, I need to, like, render this real quick. Because this is, like, turning out super weird. Hold on, let's, let's add this little side bit. And this little side bit as well. This is our slide, by the way. Not gonna lie, I'm having a bit of challenge at the moment, as you can probably tell by this, the quality of this artwork. And then the lines on the poles. And then what's got sort of like this great flooring. I spent my entire childhood on playgrounds, so I know what I'm talking about. I feel really bad for like gen alphas who don't go to playgrounds that much. Must suck. But at least you have Scooby Toilet to keep you company. Oh no, dude, I'm losing. This is not going well. Giving me anguish. Giving me stress. Sort of looks like- wait, what if we draw like a kid next to it? That'll make it look more like a playground, right? We still have one more minute. Let's draw a kid like- Like, yay! Woohoo! I'm at the playground and I'm not Gen Alpha! This is back in the day when I used to go to the playground. Whoa! Okay, bro's a little wide. It's okay, though. Now let's, let's draw the pants. And the shoes. Black shoes. How about we draw some, like, a little- pieces of grass oh that's way too bright let's turn that down a little little pieces of grass very nice okay well smiley face on the little dude yay yippee i'm at the playground hey this actually came together this is a trust the process moment bro that person better not win i'll be really sad I'll be very, very upset. Okay, well, let's see how this turns out. Oh, 
Hey, that's a pretty good swing set. I like it. I like it. Three stars. Actually, no, four stars. That's very good. I think that's very creative. It's like, must have been the first thing you thought of. I should have done that. Oh, no. Oh, that's violent. No, this is a bad playground. Two stars. This playground sucks. Also, what's up with, like, the box at the top with the slide? And the stick figure. This is so... This makes me sad. Whoa. Hold on. There's a lot going on here. This is like a whole... This is a whole scene. I'm sort of... I sort of don't know what's going on, though. Ooh. Okay, this is sort of what I was going for as well. This is like a similar style of playground I, that I did. I like the mesh. I'm going to give it a three star. Appreciate the legs here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's really something. <laughs> it looks so bad now compared to the others. Help. Especially the blue bit on the side. That's so ugly. Nah. Wait, Gen Alpha starts 2015? I thought it was 2010 it starts. Some people are trying to disqualify themselves from the Gen Alphaness. I see you. No, I think I think that Gen Alpha actually starts quite a bit later. I think it starts like 2013, 2014, sometime around then. Maybe 2015, maybe you're right. I don't think it's 2010. I really don't think so. What? No way it's 2010. That means some of you guys are Gen Alpha. That's That's really embarrassing, honestly. But no, no, no. No, it doesn't start after 2010. It doesn't. It starts at 2013. It couldn't start at 2010 because that means 14 year olds are in Gen Alpha and they're not. Yay! Oh my gosh. I made the podium. Honestly, I'm a fan of the swing set too. I thought that was pretty clever. Anyways, let's get back to drawing. Let's see who won the poll. Let's draw our second cookie of the day. Change back to Clip Studio. Chuck our music back on. So, Parfait has won with 48%. Wow, that's that's pretty much a landslide. Okay. How many people are left to vote? About 30 of you guys. I don't think it's going to change much, to be honest. Because Parfait's won by crazy amount. So let's end the poll. I'm going to quickly find this sprite. Bear with me. Oh, wait, no. I think I have this this sprite downloaded already so actually i'll just chuck it straight up onto here browsing okay there is the cookie that we are drawing next I'm gonna make this a tiny bit smaller okay so that's helping you trust the process a little more we're gonna have to um hide our lovely actually no we can just keep it over here as like a little memento hmm just there. Make it a tiny bit smaller. There we go. It goes with Milky Way cookie. It's part of the experience. Oh my gosh, these four look so cool at the moment. Okay, let's delete these random sketch layers. What's this? I think that was the squid ink drawing. Let's add them all. Let's add all the little doodles to like one layer. Oh my gosh, merging them takes so long. Oopsie. Oh no, that's just a sketch. Uh oh, little squid ink cookies. I mean, the little doodle we did alongside squid ink has definitely disappeared. Let's add this right at the bottom layer and let's get to work on drawing parfait cookie. So I'm going to quickly bring up this reference on my phone. Hold on, wait, I'm going to quickly check on my Instagram post. How's it going? How's it faring? Oh, nice. Okay, that's going pretty well. I like to post on Instagram just for my followers. To be honest, it doesn't really get out to anyone new. I just like to treat you guys with, a, with whatever I've got to say at the moment. Okay, parfait cookie. Back on track, back on track. Parfait cookie, cookie run. Okay, so it's got a guitar. I'm going to reference the same sprite that you're looking at right now. So for a pose, definitely with the guitar, maybe singing. I mean, we already have, we love like the singing ones, don't we? We just love everyone to be singing at all times, like Clover over here. Got the little music 
quavers. Huh? And then... Sorry to the gen alphas that get made fun of. You guys are fine. And I remember being made fun of for not being a 90s kid as a Gen Z kid online. Oh my gosh, that is so real. Yeah, honestly, I feel like gen alphas get a bit of a bad rap. Except, like, the ones that are, like, genuinely mean-spirited. Like, I've seen, like, the 10-year-old at Sephora story times. And, like, those are just heartbreaking that, like, kids would be so mean. But, um, yeah, like, most of you guys are pretty chill. Most gen alphas, I know. Like, my little cousin is a Gen Alpha, and he's not even super into, like, Skibbity Toilet. He's more cultured. He likes Minecraft YouTubers. But not, like, the weird ones. He likes Unspeakable, which I'm so proud of him for, honestly. Um, so, what pose do you guys think that we should put Parfait in? Do we have any suggestions in chat? I'll wait. I'll wait and see what you have to say. Um... I know I shouldn't be, like, scrolling through other fan art to, like, get a pose idea. I just sort of want to see how they use her guitar and what it looks like. Because there's not much detail to it on here. So it's sort of like a way for Cookie, right? Her singing. Her singing? Yes. Okay. Singing, surely. Oh my gosh, I love the parfait Cookie where it's, she's just, like, she's just, like, chill and has, like, the, the baggy t-shirt on. That is so adorable. Wait, I, I need to reference her dress a little bit more. So it's sort of like, oh, like it's multi-leveled, like a parfait. Ah, okay. Copy. Getcha. All right. Let's open this up full screen. Um, maybe we can have... Ooh. Maybe like another winking one. We haven't done a winking one in a while. Like something like this. Hold on. Like this. And then... How about... That looks super weird. Like the cookie... The cookie eyes are a little bit different to normal chibi eyes. They have to like follow the shape that's set out by cookie run. Hmm, okay. The wink? The little wink and... So her hair's like this. Oh, I think we're doing a few too many front-facing ones. I think we need another three quarters. Maybe another three quarters that's facing this way slightly. So we can have the wink on the eye that's like smaller and facing away. Like this. And then maybe for the pose... Um, so we have the guitar. I love it when Zeppin starts to Zeppin and Zeppin's all over the place. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you know um, which cookie I love? Which no NPC cookie I love? I love Catnip Cookie so much. Literally so cute. I think I have a screenshot of Catnip Cookie. I love to draw them, like, just, just for lols. I mean, they probably wouldn't sell well as a piece of merch, because, like, I don't know if people pay attention to the NPCs that much, but I love Catnip Cookie. If you guys know who I'm talking about, I think they're in like some of the cotton cookie things as like one of the town residents. You guys know? Yeah. Strumming her guitar. She also has like long sleeves, just like, just like Milky Way. I guess they're a real fan of that, you know, the, the long sleeves sort of covering their hand. Um, how about, like, her doing, well, that's sort of similar to what we've got here. Her legs have to be sort of in, like, more of a pose, like, like that. Like a very confident pose. And she actually has very thin arms for a cookie. Let's make her body a little bit more dress-shaped, because she, she wears a dress. Guitar maybe going here. This. And then. Yeah. 
Maybe she's like just on a big strum. Do you know how long it's been since you did Milky Way? Um, maybe like 15 minutes or so. A little while, but we just finished Milky Way like just recently. See? We have four of them now. This is awesome. I'm glad we're doing a more warm toned character as well. I was sick of doing like... I sort of like this. Maybe like a wink like that. Or what if we did like a like three quarters on the opposite side like that. And like... What about this? Then her head's like super weird and off kilter. Hold up, let me move this. Like, it'll be more like this. I think that'll be good because that way we can really get like the fluffiness of her hair in. Like that. And then, like that. And then. What do we think of this? Her hair looks complicated, good luck. Honestly, I'll be I'll be fine. I'm good at drawing hair, I think. Maybe this will be the thing to prove me wrong, but oh well. And then she has like two sort of buns here. I'd say hair is my specialty. <laughs> okay, now I want her wink to be on the other side. Because I want her eye, like her other eye to be more visible. Oopsie. <gasps> no, don't crop, don't crop. Oh, so annoying. It's gonna take ages to revert as well. Yeah. Let's flip this actually to get the to get the eye done. Bit of that. Bit of like this. Shining glitter cookie. Oh, I, I think I know who you're talking about. It's like another one of the like band ones, like the musician ones. Okay, and then the guitar is sort of like that. Um, the buns on the head like this. Chocolate sticks, because those are always in parfaits. The berries here. I think this looks pretty doable. Maybe her looking at us. Then. So, like, her sleeve is sort of. So, be like that. And then her dress. No, something about the head still doesn't feel right. It's chibi enough. Hold on, let me work on these eyes a little bit. Are you guys arguing over what type of guitar the Parfait has? I'd say it would be electric, right? Actually, no, I take it back. It's actually wafer. Not cheapy enough. Undo, slap in the control Z.
Oh, sorry, you're like play fighting. Apologies. Oh my god, not the crop. Stop doing that. As if I'm not the one doing that to myself. By pressing the wrong button. I'm sorry, please take the rose toy humour out of my life. Literally the unfunniest stuff to ever exist. I take out all these unnecessary lines. There's so many lines just out of nowhere. Oh, now her hair looks sort of flat. Fluff this side out a little bit more. I need the fluffy hair. Okay, whoever said that the hair would be challenging, you're winning now. Congrats, but at what cost? <gasps> Does she have a microphone at all, or does she just have an insane voice projection? Mic stand? Hmm, I'm not sure. So it's sort of pulled back. The hair's sort of pulled back a little. That's why it's like... She has a mic she uses. It's like, look, it's like particularly cookie-ish, or is it just like a regular mic? Someone was like, wait, are you talking about, are you talking about me? You said, I think it may be insane voice because she's always super energetic. I'm just trying to keep it down a little. Just trying to keep the, the ruckus down. Hmm. Is this like going out too much? I'm just trying to make sure this this stream is chill. I'm not gonna get too crazy, and I want to have this, some space to like focus and just draw. That's what we're doing here today: focusing and drawing. Hmm. She has like two bows. Redo this sketch a tiny bit. So this splits into one big curl. And a few bit here. I think we need to move this down a little. There's the big sprig, and a little curl like that. Hmm. It shows, I think, like a little cream puff here, sort of. I'm super excited to get to rendering her, though. I know she's going to be super awesome to render. Fill it in my nuggets. All right. One of these, got the two bun things on top, the ribbon, the sticks. Don't feel like there's much room for her eyes now, there's so much hair. Let's move this up a tiny, tiny little bit. I think that's good, gives us a bit of space. Hmm. Her eyes are sort of tricky because they, they aren't like the usual 
circle of cookie designs. They're like they're like this sort of square shape. Maybe both will have to be open. Hmm. I'll see you, Jairo. Thank you so much for watching the stream this this far in. Three hours and twenty-seven. I read that as two hours for a second. I was like, oh my god, we're making good time. No. Same deal as yesterday. Took super long on the first cookie. Yeah, she looks like actually like she's gone insane. Let's get rid of the face. I do really like the hair as is though. Doesn't have heaps of face for the sauce and stuff. The sauce is like, like this. Did Parfait debut with Kingdom or, I mean, like, did she like debut when the game first came out or was she like a new addition? Cause I'm, her banner would have been so hype. Wish I was there. I think definitely a happy one. Definitely a happy facial expression. Just her eyes that are sort of tricking, tripping me up. <laughs> what about that? She also has the white eyelashes, which I so despise. I think honestly this is really cute. We'll see you, Froxy. Right. Adding the neck. And so it's like she's just done like a really cool guitar strum. That's sort of what we're what we're thinking of. And we're drawing this pose. Let's make this sleeve a little bit shorter so it doesn't intersect with that. little wafer guitar then her hands on there and oh wow her body's gonna turn out super weird I need to bring her dress neck up a bit higher and her skirt which has like actually this like cream sort of border on it and her feet What do we think of this pose? Does her neck look broken or does she just look like she's having a silly goofy time? I think maybe her neck looks a tiny bit broken. Flip check? Maybe I'll tilt the face a little. <gasps> no, not again. There we go. She looks adorable. Milk before cereal or cereal before milk. What about the spoon? What about the bowl? Are you asking the right questions? Milk first, let it marinate a bit. Approximately how long are you leaving your milk to marinate? Like, are we talking like a few minutes? Hours, days, months, weeks. Cereal before milk is atrocious. How? How many are you drawing? I don't know. It depends when I feel like stopping. But I might stop after parfait, not gonna lie, because I'm really hungry. Okay, maybe it doesn't maybe it isn't based on what I feel like, it's just based on how hungry I am. 
What do we think of this pose? Is the neck broken? Is the neck broken? I need to know this real quick and I need to know this like in a quantifiable way. The question is, is the neck broken? Should I change it? It's okay. You won't hurt my feelings. I just genuinely need to know because I can't tell. Okay, you guys are saying yes. Sorry about my chewing, I'm just having a little snack. Oh, that's so much better. Wait, look at the comparison. How much better is that? What do you guys reckon? Like it looks fine the other way, but now it's like, now it's like even nicer. I knew something was up. Someone just mentioned strawberry crepe. I was actually thinking of drawing strawberry crepe or like adding them to the poles. And I even meant to do that yesterday, but I just didn't. Yeah, I think it's when we're gonna try something different. We're just gonna color the sketch right in. So I'm making sure there's no gaps. I forgot how long this um, magic wand tool takes, selecting the entire canvas. You should draw an oven break cookie. Hmm, maybe. If I like one enough, which one would you suggest? If you wanted one oven break cookie for me to draw, which one would you choose? That's so satisfying. Filling it in like that. Oh, love it. Savor it. Timekeeper? Okay, let me look up Timekeeper. I don't know what Timekeeper looks like. Timekeeper cookie. Oh my gosh, yes, that's so cute. I so should. She looks absolutely deranged. I love it. Anyways, back to Parfait Cookie. So we have our sketch already ready. Let's just lay down the colours, I reckon. Let's just use the fill tool to like roughly just chuck everything in. So let's first choose a white colour, which is going to be her hair. And... Fill that all in. Again, really sorry about that ASMR. <laughs> Oh my gosh, hydrangea cookie would be awesome. You're so right. What are you eating? I'm eating a muesli bar. I'm eating a muesli bar. Oh, I forgot to add the berries. That's okay. We can do that later. Also, I'm really sorry to the people who hate chewing noises. 
I'm literally one of you and I can't believe I'm betraying my people right now. But, gotta do what you gotta do, right? Let's choose the dough colour. I sort of, it, so it's gonna be brown, but I sort of want it on the pinkish side. Oh, it's because I tilted the head, that's why. I was like, why isn't the fill working properly? I have to go over it a little bit. The traumas of anti-aliasing. The people who like watch this stream from start to end have seen so many artworks go from like completely ugly shapes to like little mini masterpieces. Such a special experience. To make her slightly more pink. Can test it out. Yeah. So let's change the line art colour. No, I changed my mind. I want it to be the way it was. What's a muesli bar? Have you never had a muesli bar ever? What the heck? Wait. Did someone say I'm whitewashing um, parfait? I hope not. Hold on, I'm gonna end this current poll. I'll wait for the chat to catch up. If you think that forever, hold your peace. Oh wait, oh wait, no, I think I misread that, sorry. I was like, what? Pretty sure I'm not, but. Okay, back onto this. Back onto the game. Let's color this all in. So her sleeves, I think, are also sort of like white. That like turns into, into pink. Oh, what the heck did I accidentally just fill? Why is it loading? Oh, wait, maybe it's just auto saving. Oh, people saying people whitewash dark choker. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I getcha. Yeah, people do do that, don't they? I feel like though, okay, you better hear me all the way out on this one because at the start this is going to sound like mega sketchy, but when people draw human versions of the cookies, specifically um, like cookies based off Asian culture, like if someone personally headcanons a cookie with dark dough as like an Asian person, because of the Asian culture they're based on. I personally have no problem with that. But if they draw like the original cookie like lighter, then that's a bit sketchy. And for all cookies with no like ties to Asian culture, I don't mind. I mean, you should probably draw them with their original um, dough color. Not gonna lie, I think that's a hot take, but I just think like if they're based off like if they're based off like Asian cultures, like I know that like black people exist in Asian cultures, but if they're based off like these like legends and myths and stuff, like if one particular person like wants to like represent that in their art, there's no reason to like go with them. But like also, like dark skin head cannons are also super awesome.
I think that the cookies are anthropomorphic, so their dough is basically their skin. That is true. I just think for me, it's like, why are people bashing... Like, why are people bashing artists for drawing, like, Asian-coded cookies? Like, as Asians. I don't know. Like, I think both are good, but just when, like the Asian representation, like, culture comes involved. Should be a bit of leeway that you can, like, represent either. I mean, like, some people just aren't going to tolerate that opinion of mine. That's fine. But yeah, just my personal take. Why is that colour going so weird? Oh, it's because of the tolerance. No, stop, don't feel... No, please leave me alone. Tolerance down, please. And I need to protect Al for this. What do we think of the pinker hair? I don't know if I like it. I think I like this like cream coloured sort of hair. Oh, I like that actually. Let's stick with this. This colour. Zeppin 1, who's your favorite Ninjago villain? I only know Garmadon, so I guess it's Garmadon. I think he's really funny in the Lego Ninjago movie. And like the way he like charms all of the characters is so goofy. And the four arms, awesome. And his backstory is so sad. I don't think this blue is going to work. I think it needs to be a bit darker. And I'm going to use airbrush on this sleeve. Hmm, do I use that colour to shade the hair? I actually personally really like it. I think it makes it look a lot like cream coloured. Honestly, I don't really like the Lego Ninjago movie because it doesn't feel like Ninjago to me. I get that. I honestly get that because I was reading some of the um, the criticisms of it and like all the stuff they removed. Like it's crazy and they like, they like miss, they like poorly write the characters and stuff. But like as a standalone movie, like as someone who's never ever experienced the franchise properly, I really like it. Like it's just goofy on its own two feet. I think that's most of the base colours. Well, she has actually no, I have to do her feet. No, I think I'll just figure out a dress later. Actually, no, it's red. I'll do that now. And then. 
Utah. Blueberries. Oh, I love the little leaf as well. I love a little pop of green. Alright, I think that's a pretty solid sketch. Okay, now remember how ugly this sketch looks. Remember it. Savor it in your heart. You know what? I'm actually gonna save a copy of this um this ugly sketch so I can like compare it later. I love doing that. Do you answer quench? question says dumb 101 um if you tag me i'll see the orange and i'll have more of a chance to answer it but yes i do look at luck i do look up at chat i'm gonna duplicate this layer okay that's a crappy sketch we're gonna hide that let's get into rendering parfait cookie start by putting a little shadow under here Oh, I already stuffed it up. There we go, that's better. And a bit of a line here. Get a bit like a, of a line art colour going. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Let me quickly save. What brush size was I using for this? 12? Oops. Oh, it's Protect Alpha. I feel like this line is a little bit too brown. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. Now we're talking about Ninjago. You know what I also see a lot of that's like also a Lego series? That one monkey show. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? I like Loki want to get into it because a lot of like the human designs that people make are so freaking awesome. Monkey King, yes, that's what I'm thinking of. Monkey King. It looks so cool. Has anyone here watched it? I'm guessing you guys have. Seem pretty excited about it. Hmm, what's going on with this? Okay, so it's like sauce. I might figure out the shape a little bit better. Like 
like this. A drizzle of sauce. I mean, maybe comes up a little bit more. It's like a single drizzle. This sauce is supposed to be red. <gasps> hair looks so edible, thank you. Can also have a nibble of some of the other hairs. This one is marshmallows. This one will taste like oil. This one tastes like a gummy. This one will taste like lawn clippings. This one will taste like ice cream. Come full circle. Oh, I don't know if I should give her hair like a creamy texture or make it more look like hair. I think I might give it a creamy texture. She's supposed to be a par face, this is like ice cream hair. <gasps> Yum, bro, this makes me so hungry drawing these cookies. They're everyone talking about childhood YouTubers. I was definitely popular MMOs as well. But I, like, a lot of people, when they talk about popular MMOs, they bring up, like, the, like, Lucky Block series and stuff and, like, Titanic. But to be honest, I was watching those, um, Only One Command videos. I loved those. I thought it was awesome. I was, like, blown away where you could, like, make, like, automatic mining machines and stuff using literally just one command block. It's called only one command? Yeah. Hmm. I'm sort of not making her hair as round, I'm making it like a little bit more... Let's fix that. Okay. Hmm. I really like using this transition of like super bright color to sort of a slightly darker, um, darker white. I think it really helps, um, helps make it look like it sort of glows. And then this sort of mixes in the hair. It sort of shows the curl of it. I reckon we curl this around a little bit more and sort of give like a little bit of a fluffy bit. Oh, I'm so excited to draw this source. Zephyr one, do you ever use airbrush slash blending or do you only use solid colors? I actually use airbrush quite a bit. I never blend. I'm kind of bad at blending. It always turns out quite muddy, so I just, um... I just usually do like a s like step ups of color like this. 
but I do use airbrush quite often and gradient tool. I actually use the gradient tool a lot. Let's put a bit of depth into these. I would like a glob of sauce up here. A bit like that. Like this as well. It looks like super chunky now. Instead of syrup, it's more like jam or something. I think let's transition the colors a little bit here. I'm going to use the gradient now actually. I'm going to use it to give the colors a bit of a transition. Now it really looks like sort of deep colored sauce. Maybe we should move on to the eyes. They still look a little scary. But this is... Wait, no. I'm gonna save the... The rendered version to sketch comparison, like, for last. gonna save it right to the end when everything's rendered and done then I'll reveal she have a nose no I'm gonna give her a little highlight thing or should I just give her like a bit of like a round blush? Or I could do both. I do both quite often. It's way too orange. It's way too pink. That's perfect. Like, this reminds me of when we were drawing Sorbet Shark's eyes. <laughs> Similar sort of deal. I'm really getting... I gotta get used to, like, the white eyelashes now. The Gojo lashes. Okay. Oh my gosh, his hair looks so juicy.
Hmm. I might bring this little strand of hair forward just a bit because it's like a bit of a blank spot there. It's more fun to draw hair than it is to like render just the side of someone's face. I don't like the turn chat is taking. Yeah, I've like sort of lost track of it. I don't know what's going on. Everyone's talking about like their childhood like creepy pastors. This legit sounds like creepy pasta music as well. I'm not helping. Oh wait, this eye is actually turning out kind of cute. Okay. Okay, this hair is turning out so nice. Oh, Zeppin, I'm mega late, dang. Hello, I'm amazing at cooking food. Zeppin1, you should draw a current cream cookie. I don't know, I don't actually know a current cream cookie. I don't know what that is. Not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, she's turning out so cute. I love this. So it's like sort of pulled back a little. Let's add a little bit of cream under this bit of puff ball. Okay. I'm going to add a line to the top of this source. I'm thinking of making it smooth again on the top. The source looks so yum. I have to still add like the little um, like sprinkles and stuff though. This is so awesome, says John's Banana. Thank you so much, John's Banana. Glad you think so. How's the flip test? Oh, I reckon this could come up a little higher. We're looking at the flip test. Yeah, it's better. shadow under the eye one underneath as well girl has a cell isn't she sort of supposed to be like a k-pop idol or more of like a rock star I don't know just a musician oh my gosh a k-pop idol group would actually slap so hard in cookie run though I just had that thought. Would it not? I mean, we did have the BTS club, but like a proper one that they just designed. Is there a thing? I don't know.
I'm going to join these two bits. No, nah, it's supposed to be divided. For the source. Extend this bit out a little. The little curl underneath. Oh, it's slightly too thick. Spending way too much time on the hair again. It's my curse. Always. How much do we have left of this music? Oh my gosh, hour four. Congrats, legends. Still got like half an hour left. Cool. Should draw one of the cookies from the oven break, like coffee, candy cookie, or croissant cookie. Yes, I I honestly should draw some oven break ones. But I do want to like get all the kingdom preferences out first. Because I'm just more familiar with them. So I might have like a bit of an easier time drawing them. And also I like their sprites more. And stare at the, the yummy kingdom sprite. Okay, let's do a bit of a roll call. Who in chat is drawing something right now? Wait, can we do can we do a poll? I can like do polls so easily now. Drawing. Okay, well, what are you guys doing? Let me know. Vote away. Damn, 50% of you guys are drawing. That's so awesome. By the way, if you're mewing, that just means you're just watching. But also mewing. Get onto it, fellas. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to do that highlight, but I have to do the sprinkles first. I don't get too keen.
Okay, let's try the mouth in. And then I'll look up and take a peep at the pole. What everyone's doing, our little roll call. So we have 50 pi Oh my gosh, sorry. I, I think I accidentally clicked the the nothing tab, but we're back. Woman do hui xiang nin zeppelin one. Aww. I'm back. <laughs> sorry, I accidentally, I accidentally clicked the thing that was like nothing, so I probably just cut out. I'm sorry. I'm back. I was wondering why the views were dropping. I was like, um, where's everyone going? <laughs> you guys actually like chopped me up with your your crazy sharp cheekbones. You mute me out of existence. <laughs> yeah. You can read Chinese? Yes, just a little bit though. I'm not literate by any means. Next year though, that's all gonna change. I'm changing my second major to Chinese so I don't have to have like, have like the same Chinese level of a five year old anymore. <laughs> ah. Day in the life, bro. I wonder how long I was out for. Probably didn't even know. We mogged Zeppin too hard, guys. Time to mouth breathe, Max. <laughs> That's why I came back, because you guys started breathing from your mouths again. And I just, I apparated. Oh my gosh, this parfait cookie is so cute. Is the neck still broken though? I feel like it's returning to being broken. That rendering, oh my gosh. I still have time to change it. I still have time to change it. Take a look. Is it a risky, risky move? No, it's definitely better the way we've got it now. 
Like, there's something wrong with her face, though. Kind of creepy music is definitely not helping. Animal Crossing music. Zeppelin 1, do you play any instruments? I can't believe you're still here, Casey draws stuff, oh oh. But no, I do not. I'm morbidly untalented when it comes to music. I used to play piano because, like, my mum forced me to. But I was really bad. Like, I used to frustrate my teacher so much because I was, like, actually abysmal at it. Like, I think all of my skills points got put onto art when I was born. So, unfortunately, no instrument skills whatsoever, my friend. I do not play an instrument. So I'm always in awe of people who do. I just, I just like can't fathom it because I actually, it's ridiculously difficult for me. I just don't think my brain works that way. And I hate like the, I hate how, like to me, I know a lot of people find like freedom in music. But when I used to like have to play music and stuff, I just felt trapped. And like, like I couldn't advance any further as well because I couldn't learn how to read sheet music properly. Well, I did, but it was very slow. I was bad at just learning by like practicing like which keys to press. I'd always just go back and make the same mistakes over and over and over. And I just didn't feel like I was creating anything. Which is obviously not the experience of all people. But I just think that's why I like art more. It's really difficult at the start, but you'll get used to it. Maybe I'll try playing an instrument again someday in the future. But not today. Not currently. It's not my time. Zeppi, what's your favorite Mitski song? I really like, um, I don't like my mind. I think it's really good. I also love Valentine, Texas. It's just really beautiful. I appreciate. Some of her like more popular ones, I just really don't get the appeal of. Like maybe I'm too much of a, like a fem cell loner to get my love. My love mine or mine? It's got like a really long name. Seven one. Who's your who's your favorite music artist? Well, the top of my rap last year was Deaton Chris Anthony. But I also really like um, Rocky at the moment. Who else? Mm, let me think. I really like Remy Wolf, if anyone's heard of her. Probably. She was really popular during 2020. I really like... I don't know, maybe I just really like 2020 music. Brain just stopped developing there. Hello dog, says Bliss. Hello. Zeppin, do you use tonal correction after finishing a drawing or do you stick with it? I usually use tonal correction in the middle of a drawing. I usually use it in the middle because I like to be able to like change the colours slightly later. And I want my final like decisions of drawing to be like completely determined by me. Like I don't draw to plan like I don't, I don't plan to draw and like use tonal correction to fix it later. I'd rather just like get the colors right on my own. But I do use tonal correction like in the middle of a drawing to sort of fix it up if I don't like where it's headed. Okay, what are we doing for this? Britain versus Australia. Britain versus Australia for what people think, where people think I live. I'm Aussie, okay? Let's get one thing straight. Let's get one thing clear. Okay, so we have a really shiny berry here. Extremely shiny, dazzling berry. I think a little cream puff. Let's, how about we render that with a slightly different bunch of colors? Sort of differentiate it. It's gonna be our cream puff here. So 
So nice. Wait, okay, I feel like it needs to have a bit more, like, shape to it. To the salon. Anyone remember that TikTok audio? Just me? Okay. Oh wait, no, it has, like, sauce inside it as well. Okay. Parfait looks adorable. It's sort of like a little pomegranate type berry. Let me see. Oh wait, no, it's got like just a little little blob on the end like this. Let me darken this colour a little bit more. It's just colored in red, actually. I've never rendered so much in like one weekend. I usually hate rendering. This is awesome. Because they're such little chibi characters, I don't have to like worry about giant like planes of space. Like it really just works with this. Viewer's official name for Zeppelin Watchers. I mean Zeppelins, but you can call yourself a mirror if you'd like. Why are so many people mewing? It's awesome though, never stop. I think I'm gonna make dinner after this, then I'm gonna hop on Frosty Fest for a little while. Just a little while, then I have more art to work on. I'm always drawing. So I'm afraid to get burnt out, not gonna lie. Like it'll happen eventually probably. I'm just hoping it's not soon because I have so many ideas, I have so many plans. It's just so inconvenient to burn out. Is the cream puff supposed to be slightly higher? Hold on, let's make this slightly bigger and move it. Oopsie. Oh, gotta add the leaf on too. <gasps> no! Yeah, it's way too small right now. Let's make it heaps bigger, let's make it this big. Oh yeah, that's, that's so much better. This is transparent just here. Let's quickly change the background color actually. It's gonna lag out for a second. Okay. So there's a rip just here. Get rid of that. So we've moved the cream up a little higher, I think that's better. Oh, I still even could probably move it further along, honestly. But I think her hair like goes out a bit too far. It needs to go higher, but also like... So like come in a little bit more. It's 
so nice. Okay, let's add a bit more rendering to this berry. The shadows are going to be a slight bit purple. It's an art tip to anyone who hasn't heard that one before. You can lean your shadow color slightly towards purple. Especially if you're doing red. Oh, is it raining outside? It's raining outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's kind of cool. You know what I love more than anything? When you're playing Animal Crossing and it's raining, and then you go outside and it's also raining. I think that's the best. I think that's my absolute favorite. Okay, here's how we're going. I realize we haven't done like a, a showcase of all the cookies we've drawn so far yet. I would like to get a third one done today. I might actually. So that's what we're up to. Okay. Oh my gosh. Should we reveal the process? Should we should we trust the process right now? Wait, hold on. I'm going to end the poll. Thank you to everyone for voting. Very happy to see that 30% of you are mewing. Please, if we do a third one, can we do mango? I honestly really want to do mango. I think when we vote the next time, if anyone wants to like donate and like override everyone else's opinion, I mean, you have to donate a little bit more than like $1. But just saying, if anyone wants to donate, Buttons just there, but save it for when we're voting, otherwise it won't count. Okay. What's the best gacha game in your opinion? I honestly, to be honest, I know this is biased because like what I'm drawing right now, but Cookie Run Kingdom. But honestly, I've also played Puni Puni. I've played Battle Cats. Honestly, not much else. I played that one... That one game, oh, what was it called? And they freaking added Markiplier to it. Oh my gosh. But I've played a few gacha games and I'd say that Cookie Run Kingdom is probably the best because of the way they don't try and force you into watching any ads. And like, the game is very playable and fulfilling. Um, like, even if you're not willing to pay, like, of course you're not going to make it to the top of the meta because there's paying players. But even if you don't pay, you can still make it up pretty high. And I think the gacha rates are like pretty fair. Like, I'll get pretty nice cookies all the time. And it's just the design of the whole everything is just beautiful. It's just so pleasant to look at. But I also really enjoy Battle Cats. That was the first gacha game I played. So it has a dear spot in my heart, but not enough to dethrone Cookie Run Kingdom. Make sure to go over all these pixels. It's like cream looks sort of like cream. This music is so creepy. I think we find a new music mix now. Animal Crossing GameCube all snow music. Ooh, because it slaps. Gacha is so annoying. Should draw a black lemonade cookie next. Or maybe I can add them to the to the list. What's your favorite free art program? My favorite free art program I would say would be Medibang Paint Pro. I used it for ages actually, and it had everything I needed. But the only thing was I got annoyed by the ads when they added ads in. I mean that's sort of what you get. I've never actually used Ibis Paint, but I've heard it's really good. Hmm. I might darken her eyes a little bit, make them stand out a bit more. 
Same color as these blueberries, maybe? I need to make her eyes go down a little bit more because it's sort of more accurate to her design. <laughs> Oof. We've got quite a few interesting cookies that we could possibly do next. Strawberry crepe. Really undecided on these eyes, huh? Hmm. Oh, bye, Jero. Bye, Jero, again? Keep coming and going. Does anyone have any tips on how to make this face look a bit more normal? Something really off about it. Use lighter colors for the skin. I don't know, this is like sort of her dough color, so I sort of want to stay true to it. I feel like her face is too wide. I think that's the problem. Hold on. I know her eyes are too close together. I really feel like it's something up with an angular face, true. There's too much shading under the eyes as well. Because the, when you add the lashes, it'll come together. The underside lashes? That sort of makes it a little better, but there's still something up. I think I want to make her more chibi. The mouth, the right eye needs to move a bit. Wait, right on the flipped one, or?
her right eye too big? She looks really pointy, make her more round. Getting conflicting feedback here. Wait, let's compare it to the old sketch. Okay, her face was a lot wider before. Face shape. Left on the flipped. So this one. This one needs to be moved a little. This eye? In what way? What direction? I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this is looking better. Or is it? Is she still as chibi as the others? No, not really. Uh, to be honest, I really don't think it's the face shape, I think it's the eyes. Hold on, how about I, how about I just cover it over and try again? Actually, tilt the canvas a little bit. So, I mean, she is looking three quarters, so... What do we think about this? Do we think this is closer or further away? Hold up. Let's add the blue in. This sort of deal? Sorry, I look a bit neater. Yeah, it feels like it's more on her face, sort of, but they're also really far apart. Hold on. I'll try and render them a little bit more. Make it look a bit more serious. They just look so much more like her, you know? Let's withstand the flip test. Yeah, pretty much. Just this part doesn't, but that's going to be erased by the hair anyways. Hmm. Move this one in a slight bit. Wait, did that make it bad again? more accurate to her. I feel like this eye is still a little goofy. Let's move her mouth up because she's sort of like facing up then. how I feel.
Definitely looks a lot more like her. Does it look better though? The shading makes it look like she has eye bags. I know, I always want to put eye bags on everyone. Okay, I'll, I'll remove them. What about this? What do you guys think of this? Or do we like the old version better? No, definitely not the old version. I the OG sketch. Oh, well, that's scary. That was the OG. That looks a lot more like her. So I want to make the eyes a bit bigger though. What about that? Okay, cool, moving on. I'm gonna merge this down. Thank you so much for your help, everyone, in deciding to fix the eyes. Yes, they're so much cuter now. So, so much cuter. Okay, now let's get back to rendering. We'll do the next shadow. Oh wow, it's changed so much. Weapon 1, have you heard of just shapes and beats? I don't know what you mean by that, to be honest. Looks very much more cookie now. Cover this part. I know that they're like, their eyes usually show through their hair, but we're not doing that. I'm trying to like make it a bit more like a realistic rendering. So naturally, sorry eyeballs, you get erased partially. Most of it's still here though. Bit of shading on the eyes, which is originally what we're gonna do. BRB, I'm about to re-download Kingdom. Oh my gosh, yes. Convinced you. I updated my game this morning because I spent all of yesterday drawing the characters. Add a bit of shading to these eyes. Mm. 
neaten these out a bit. They're going to be pretty neat because I think they're going to be the focal points, right? Look at the eyes. And she's got sort of like a sort of turquoisey colour as well. This. Bit of this. Hmm. Do I add that back in? Yeah, it's kind of cute. Let me do a bit of the rendering down here first. Hmm. Are we talking about object shows? Please don't. Please. I beg. I like see like thirst trap edits of like literal like rock or something like that. Why? It's an object. Maybe I just wouldn't get it. What's the problem with object shows? It's the thirst traps! I can't, they're just like... I just don't understand. It's a it's an object to the face on it. Like, I'm not saying it's like genuinely weird, like you can like what you want. But it's just, I don't think it's my cup of tea. I'm not an object show fan, especially because of those thirst traps invading my online space. Paperclip thirst trap, please. Zeppi, which ancient cookie is your favorite? I like Hollyberry the most. I like Hollyberry because Hollyberry was one of the first cookies I got, one of the first ancients as well. So, definitely one of the faves. Okay, this parfait rendering is happening. Is there anything I'm missing with this design? Okay, there is a slight blue gradient on the neck of the guitar. Zeppin1, how do you pronounce your name? Just like that, Zeppin1. Some people call me like Zeppini, like with an I, but no, it's, it's literally just a one. Zeppin1. That's all you gotta do. Don't even think too hard about it. Just say. I'm so addicted to just zooming in and out.
Yeah, I feel like her face is sort of melting. Someone left her out in the sun for a bit too long. How about that? Make her mouth. Oh, that would be so cute. We're gonna make her be singing. Wash here. Dude, I don't think I'm ever going to be happy with her eyes. So I feel so wrong. Well, maybe it's not her eyes, maybe it's her head shape. What about this? Parfait is honestly a pretty hard character for me to draw, so no reason I get it. So for no reason I get it- YES! We're deleting the line under the eye, goodbye. It doesn't even exist on her character. I just imagined it. Figment of my imagination. What do you think it looks like without the line? And the little sprinkles now. How about we add those? So maybe a little bit more rendering on this source. So nice. And that's a little bit muted. Let's turn up the saturation. Reflection. Little highlight here. Look at a diamond shape. So cute. Seven one, you should probably add her eye shine. Oh, so true. A little highlight in there. <gasps> Wait, if I add one there, then I can't add one on the other side in the same spot. Less dead. Yes, she's alive. 
Now she looks happy. And is happy to be performing. Add like the little eyelashes underneath. This looks so cute. Get a little bit of a blush colour. That's not nearly as dark as we need. Aww. Adorable. Might do like a, one of the lighter colors over her eyes, like this. And the other side too. Adorable, perfect, stunning. Highlight as well. Oh my gosh, Parfait Cookie is taking ages. Hour is it? Oh my gosh, hour five. We are not going to have time for another cookie, by the way. We're two hours into this and we're not even finished. Not making good time whatsoever. Not even in the slightest. But I will persist. I end on the finished cookie. Show the guitar. Why well, we didn't do Stardust at least? We're having so much trouble doing Parfait. To be honest, her hair is crazy though. This part is sauce. Wait, we were going to add all like the toppings and sprinkles on here. One second. So I think we need like a yellow. Step in one, it might have been because you spent three hours on Milky Way. Yes. Had to be perfect. Way too much. I have an addiction to drawing. Could be worse, honestly. There's a the little toppings. I feel a bit too uniform right now. She also has pink ones. I'm gonna mute these a little bit. Maybe add a bit of reflection.
Look at all, I don't like the reflections. I want to add some more like sparkles or something to this syrup. Even yummier somehow. The colour's a little too brown. Make it a bit more purple. Sorry, highlight, off you go. Move down. Okay. I did like just a few little random spots here. I'm gonna add some little sparkles. Make it like this, maybe like glittery sort of syrup. I should add the big blob highlight in. That's all fix everything. Just know it. Okay, let's put it right here. The sprinkle needs to get out of the way. Okay, let's go. Let's move the sprinkle actually down here. One's too close. <gasps> Love drawing the highlight, and I drew it so early as well. Supposed to leave them till last, but I couldn't help myself. Supposed to be using a slightly larger brush size as well. together now. I'm using 17 before. Let's add a shadow under, sort of differentiate from her sleeve. They're pretty much the same size. And let's actually add the sauce on her buns just up here. Nice. And maybe colour them in a little. Add a bit of gradient perhaps. Artificial gradient. Zeppelin 1, have you ever ate pho before? I have, I love it so much. I love it on like a cold, sort of drizzly day. There's, there used to be a place like really close to um, where I used to live. Just go out for a pho, oh, so good. Oh my gosh, it would just like warm my spirit up. Sometimes I'd take it back to my room. Sometimes I'd like, I'd just, you know, get pho and eat it there. So, so yum though. Absolutely, I have.
I would ask you guys what your favorite food is, but I want to specifically ask you what your favorite lunch is. What do you like to eat for lunch? What sort of cheers you up? Maybe I'll eat this in the future too. You're giving me a bit of inspo. You're seeing grilled cheese, a bowl of shredded cheese. Spook style, I've never heard of that. Chipotle burritos, grilled cheese, sandwich, egg rice soy sauce, I'm sorry. That's very interesting. Rice and soy sauce mixed because you're a psycho. I'm, I think you found your, your new best friend. Just add the eggs, those frozen fruit cups. Rice, <gasps> pot stickers. Gyoza, yes. Sushi. Banana strawberry yogurt. That sounds yum. I've never I've never even seen that before. Cheeseburger. These foods are horrid. We, they're comfort foods, okay? Don't judge my episodes. Fried rice, cheeseburger, chicken burger. You know what I had the I'm sorry, I don't know how to say it, so I'm gonna butcher this. Pozole is a soup like Hispanic dish, so yum and spicy. <gasps> that sounds like it would sort of like warm your soul on like a rainy day. Cheese empanada, chicken burger, steak salad, ginger soup. Guys, we're having a feast and I'm bringing all this food. <clears throat> oh, pancakes. I love pancakes. I love waffles more though, not gonna lie. Zephyr One, thank you for the color wheel video. I've changed my ways and I've started using the color sliders for my animations and I can't thank you enough because the process is so much better now. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad you liked the tutorial. I'm glad it helped you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. I'm glad your process is smoother and good luck with your animations. Okay, let's colour in this sauce again. We're actually eating so good. The zephyrs and feast is gonna go off. I really do like a good um posty though, like a a grilled cheese, but what I like to have is um posty smith. Oh I love it so much. I think it's like a Japanese place. But they make these um, toasted sandwiches with like cheese and cabbage and like mayonnaise. Oh, the best ever. Literally my favourite thing. My favourite ever thing. Eggs and avocado on toast right now. That is a prime breakfast. But also good like any time of the day honestly. There must be a leaf somewhere here. This is also supposed to be connected to that. Okay, let's work on the clothes a bit, actually. Actually, no, let's not use that line art colour, let's use this one. It's a hemo cut. Yellen. Someone said a hime cut is a bowl cut. Kind of right. Not gonna lie. A hime cut is when it looks good on someone. A bowl cut is when it looks bad. (laughs) 
Okay, I'm going to add a bit of shading to this hand. I don't know how I feel about that one. Soften out the edge of it, perhaps. All oh, the rain is firing up again. That's so nice to hear. Background of my music. That's her sleeve. Why are we talking about... Oh my... Why? No Genshin talk in my chat. Come on, guys. Your drawing is so cute. Thank you, Limerie Kit. Thank you so much. Oh, so when you were talking about haircuts before, you were talking about... That Genshin character. Scaramouche. Mishka, Mushka, Mickey Mouse. So that's what I thought of. When you're talking about that character. The Mickey Mouse type name. Is Parfait Cookie going to be the last cookie you draw on stream? Because I really want to see Black Lemonade Cookie. Well, I'm probably going to keep this series going for at least like a couple more weeks until I um I get to do my convention stuff. So, I mean, even if I don't do another cookie in this stream, I'll probably do another one in the future. So, um, you might see Black Lemonade Cookie sometime soon. The aim is to do like as many cookies as possible, if not all. If not all. Maybe this could be like a year long series. I draw every single cookie from Cookie Run. Would you guys like to see that? Or would that sort of get old? It's just all the designs are so good. I don't want to leave anyone out. Is there going to be a stream tomorrow? Is this the last one for this week? Um, yeah, probably. So tomorrow I am. it's Monday for me. So I'm back to work. So last one for this week, I'm afraid, and then I'll be back next weekend. I want to see you draw all the cookies, yes. How cool would that be? I want to see myself draw all the cookies. Imagine how awesome, like, my store would look. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. Love. Why not color? I want to use, yeah. Continue that. All the way around. I'm honestly really proud of how I rendered that sleeve, not gonna lie. My clothes rendering has gotten a lot better.
After you finish drawing all the cookies, you should rank them from which one is your favourite to your least favourite. That would make a cool video. That would make a cool video, like, um, like a cookie tier list, but it's all my own art. That would be awesome. And like, maybe I could talk about the experience drawing them too. You're a thinking person. I must say. Also, this art is like so vibrant and cute. I love it. And the rendering style, I really enjoy it. I enjoy creating this. Okay, I might put the shadow on this side to hide the awful. Awful. Attempt to continue the gradient. I don't know how she plays the guitar with her like hand still in her sleeve. Like go crazy, I guess. Maybe that's part of her talent. Which trolls does this girl sniff? My headcanon is that she has holes at the bottom of the receiver she can play, but it looks like her hands are still covered up. Oh yeah, true. It's like there's a hole like just under there or something. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, might be under something. And put an outline on the outside of the face too. Oh my gosh, this is- okay, this is actually happening. Should we do a comparison with our sketch? Zeppi, you sound so, kind of quieter than usual. I think it's just because I'm sort of leaning down to my art um, tablet and not close to the mic. But to be honest, I'm trying to like not yell and scream and stuff because there's people in my house that are sleeping, so... Best to just like talk and be chill. And also, I don't want to like shock anyone who's watching this with just like a random yelp. I don't know. Zep and the dogs. Her feet are like so morbidly unrendered. Okay, I'll fix them. Fine. Just staying that way for now. That's what you get. I'm gonna make sure to keep them in frame as well. <laughs> Do you like? Like what you see? Any second shadow here? Gotta keep the start of the show in frame. Sleeve a little bit more.
Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the rendering this sleeve kind of fell off. Like, this one is great, but that one, what is going on? There's too many colours happening. I spaced out for hours while playing Cookie Run. What is this? Except <laughs> this is torture. The right one feels. <laughs> Zeppin one. Do you know who Kuleen is? Yes, unfortunately. Unfortunately, she's just. I really don't like what she preaches. And. I don't know. I think it would be cool if someday I could overtake her in subscribers. I think that would be mega funny. He's for the win. <clears throat> um, what the flip, dude? They're still in frame. Yeah, just the- as long as we have, like, the coloured nails, it's fine. She has the paws. Don't mention K word or the J word. Still a bit of rendering on this skirt. What do you guys think? I think that's a great idea personally. Oh, I think let's just really I okay, need to be a bit closer. Get like the precision going, you know? <laughs> Okay, I've got my colour now. Zoom back in. Just shading here. What does her like the dress even look like? Hold on, I'm gonna look at a picture of her dress. You just watch you just watch these for me. Make sure they don't run away. I'll be back. <laughs> Whoa. Zeppin1, genuine question. Why don't you like Kuleen? I'm not a fan of her either. Just wondering. Well, I think that her apology for that whole, like, um, face structure fiasco was pretty weak. Like, you can be hyperbolic and a bit raunchy with your content delivery style and still, like, not be racist. And her apology was just sort of like, oh, I don't know why you guys got offended. Like, like, clearly, clearly, you could understand why people got offended. Like, your whole th your whole thesis of your channel, basically, is like, don't draw ugly people, which is just stupid, by the way. And then you're like, oh, don't ever draw like this. Like, what, what message do you think that, that sends out? Oh, don't, don't draw people with a, a, a chin that juts out or too big of a nose. Like, what, what message do you think you're broadcasting right now? It's literally just racism and hate of, like, ugly people, which I'll not stand for, because, number one, ugly people don't exist, okay? Only people that are ugly on the inside, and I think if it's ugly people that she's so worried about, then maybe it's not what's on the canvas, it's what's got the pen, what's drawn in there, that should, she should be focusing on. Hmm. Troll's feet. <laughs> Everybody move your hair type feet. Accentuating them a bit more. Look how everything is like so cute and beautifully rendered and you just look down. Jeez, I almost had them out of frame for a second. That would have been disastrous. I think the end of this guitar is a little bit blue as well. 
Imagine she sees a clip of that speech. I mean, I hope not. I have a bad stutter. Someday if I get big enough. <laughs> well, I'll probably never make a drama video. That's the only thing. I just don't want her to have a platform anymore. And like the whole like mentality she has about art, like I get it's supposed to be like ironic and stuff. But she talks an awful lot about like getting clout, getting clout, getting clout. Like, it's just, she just perpetuates all these really poor mentalities about art, honestly. It's really hostile to beginner artists, especially. Oh, gotta keep them in frame. But yeah, if I ever do like a raid stream, like every single time I feel angry, I have to like, I don't know, do a dare or something like that. Definitely, cooling videos will be on the rage bait. And, like, the advice is, like, genuinely so useless. <laughs> She's like, um, use the color wheel, use colors. Go. what else will I be doing, okay? Like, you don't need to tell me that. Give me something useful, let me in on a secret. Anyways, oh wait, my music's run out. Is it gonna spam us with an ad? Okay, what song do we have next? Relaxing Zelda music with waves. I don't want the waves though. Nintendo music to work in the morning. Please don't be too hype. It's too hype. Okay, Animal Crossing music. Let us in on Secret Zeppelin 1. I did in my art, in my Steal My Art Style video. She also did something with acne. Yes, okay, let's talk about that because I, that also made me super mad because as someone with acne and who has struggled with that insecurity for basically my entire teenage years and always wished that it would just magically go away and then it somehow was destroying my life. Like I, I struggled with this so badly and when I just saw like when I saw that character first of all that character was so cute and just I love all characters with acne just normalize it a bit because it is normal it's very normal most people have it at some stage in their life and then to she as well acknowledged that it was acne like she didn't even go into this with ignorance because I mean if you did like like, if you were innocently just like, oh, what's this? Is it like, um, freckles or something? And then just like, did less freckles or something in, in the quote unquote fixing your art. Like, if you honestly made that mistake and you're a beginner artist who isn't a role model for like millions of young artists out there, sure, whatever. But she actively recognized, she went to the comments. There was a comment that said, is this, is that, um, pimples? The creator said yes, and she was like, oh, it's supposed to be pimples, and she just completely erases it and turns it into these little dots and just blends it down to, like, this generic manhwa character. Like, are you kidding me? The creator was actually doing something, and then your version of fixing it. Like, I know they submitted it to be fixed, but... So it means that it's no offense against the, the creator. But think about all the people who have this insecurity and you basically just shit all over them saying that being fixed is not having it anymore. It's just so weird because, I mean, it's just reinforcing these ideas that acne is ugly. I mean, it's not. It literally, you're beautiful with or without acne. That's something that took me way too long to realize. And still people out here acting as if that isn't true. Fixing art by making people have clear skin. It's really saddening. Am I the only one who thinks acne is cute, says Chaos Kara. Honestly, like, I'm not one to like, I know it's sort of like bad to like have types and whatnot, but like, 
I sort of like it when someone I'm interested in has like acne scars because it just makes them feel like a more genuine and real person to me as someone who's experienced that. Like not saying that people who haven't had it aren't genuine or anything like that, like it's purely genetic. But just I feel like I relate more to be honest. Hmm. Kitty, I came back to check and she's adorable. Oh, thank you. Do you like the feet? Hold on. I gotta work on... This is like turning into a bone. It's supposed to be like a tab. Tab? What? What am I talking about? Triangle. I just chose any T word and I was like, yeah, it'll do. Is the gradient still there? Am I, tr am I going crazy? Oh, is a gradient like on her, um, on her gacha pool sprite? I don't think it's actually even supposed to be blue. I just did that. Oopsie. Can I just change the line art color a little bit? Can you zoom out? I want to see the other cookies again. There you go. Take a look. I have a very important question. Do you know who Ginger Ninja Owo is? I'm honestly just dying. Of course I do. Of course I do. Yes. Oh my gosh, they're like, their BTS dope map. I've watched that probably about a hundred times. It had me in a chokehold. And I do not use that term lightly. Fix the colour of this guitar. BTS mentioned. <laughs> Do you know Lavender Town? Yes. To be honest, I'm not as much of a fan of their videos as um I like I didn't I didn't watch them as much as um Ginger Ninja O when I was a kid. I really liked, um, which art YouTubers did I really like? Hmm, let me think. Maybe just keep mentioning some and I'll let you know. I loved Clockbirds. I know that much. Clockbirds was the best. Sorry, but I can't stand Lavender Town, says Chaos Kara. I honestly kind of get that opinion. Like, I understand why. But I think for me, it's just like, I have no reason to like not like her. So she's just fine. Oh my gosh, an art, I, art YouTuber I really like is, um... Oh my gosh, their art is mind-blowing. It's called... I think it's, their channel name is Vilda Art TM. So good. If you ever want, like, just something in the background to just listen to, like, watch their videos. They're so good. And their art is, like, absolutely stunning. I've been binging all their videos from their old channel and their new channel. Does anyone know who I'm talking about? Did you ever watch YouTube animators? Not really. I mostly watch Super Planet Dolan. I don't know if that counts. What's the name? I'll put it in. I'll put it in the chat. You should go check out that channel. I think that's how you spell it. And there are like insane, absolutely insanely good. Like the way they do backgrounds and everything. Like, oh my gosh, I remember seeing this one speed paint and you know how like, I feel like with the drawing, once the rendering starts, everything just always comes together, like, really quickly. Well, I was watching a speed paint of theirs, and, like, it was line art, you know, it was looking pretty good, sketch, yeah. But then they started rendering, and, like, m my mind just exploded. Like, they added the shading, it looked amazing. They added, like, 
lightning around the character and my my brain just like started to melt more and more like it just got better and better somehow exponentially such a good artist Do you share what brushes you use, says Sino Sia. Sorry, I don't know if I got your name right, but um, yes. So I've actually posted my Clip Studio paintbrush under my most recent video where I share my arts art process. It's called Zeppi Pen, but it's only on Clip Studio. But in the video, I do explain the settings if you want to recreate it yourself in your own art program. So yeah, there's that. Let's add a little bit of a gradient here on this ribbon. Okay, it's not looking like a gradient. Nor is that. Step in one, you should not draw her socks to make everyone mad. That's what I'm on. That's what I'm already doing. That's what I'm on to. Maybe I should even add a little highlight. Highlight each individual toe. The new focal point of this artwork. And then what does her guitar look like? Sort of like a wafer. I believe it's been five hours, almost six. Almost six. Really like locked in with these two cookies. And there's like little pieces coming out the side. The classic song. I miss when the roost used to be in the museum, but in City Folk, not in New Horizons. In my opinion, New Horizons actually was kind of mid for a Animal Crossing game. New Leaf was where it was at. They added so much stuff in that game. It was like groundbreaking. I mean, so was terraforming, but it was also like, it sort of ruined Animal Crossing. That's my opinion. I think terraforming was just too overwhelming for Animal Crossing, like as a, as a cozy game of something which was supposed to be slow paced because of the time gates. You can't mix slow paced games with like, with fast paced mechanics, like, like terraforming your entire island. It's just not fun to do that grind, in my opinion. How can we render this way for a little more? So that's all I got. I don't even like that. I'm just going to leave it regular. Maybe I'll render this shadow a little bit underneath. Zeppi, why would you add a highlight to the toes? It's part of the rendering. I'm rendering right now. So if someone's made clips of this stream, you're my best friend, you're special to me, you're my favourite. I know it's kind of goofy, but I like to go and like watch the parts of the stream that you guys like. I'm like, I'm going to do more of that. Sometimes people just save like the weird noises I make. 
Like I was looking at some for the Yokai Watch stream because I'm making the Yokai Watch experience video. And like one of the clips was just this one time I made this really weird noise. And it was titled E No. I appreciate that, thank you. Okay, so it's got like the dress has got like blue straps. Like here. And a little bit more shoulder showing. strap here it doesn't feel like I spent that long on Milky Way but it feels like I spent that long on Parfait and then okay what's the dress so then it's like it's like flan color here it's like yellow sort of Grizzly gummy is popping up in my gacha pulls way too much. Sometimes you just have that one cookie that won't leave you alone. For me it's um dark cacao. Always. Your daily no go. Bye Zeppin one. I'm leaving. I'll see you. Thank you so much for sticking around the stream. turned so chill okay let's also I'm giving you guys a break from the dogs because I'm so kind and nice okay they're back Yo Zeppi, can we vote for the next cookie you're going to draw even if it's for the next stream? That's actually a good idea, it'll be good to like come prepared with a cookie. Think of the ones you'd like me to put in the drawer. I can have the sprite ready as well. Vera has been working on the the Wasteland Waitress mech. Very cool. Honestly, awesome that you know how to draw mechs. They're quite hard. Bit of a lost art, I'd say. Missing some of this color, so let's add that in. They're looking quite fluffy. I think we might be near the end. Shading this little bit of hair up here. 
add that three stage shading Her hair really looks like ice cream now. I love it. I want to take a bite so bad. Is it possible to eat your own art? End of stream? Someone said. End of stream by Gremlin. Almost. It's been six hours. Can't enough stream for today. Almost. Not quite yet. Gotta finish off this cookie. And we got two done today. I got slower, not faster. It's just better quality now. Guess what guys, I have some really bad news for you. Some really awful news. I know you're not gonna like this, but I'm gonna have to cover up the dogs. Sorry, take one last look. I'll zoom right in so you can take a screenshot with your eyes. Save it in your memory. Treasure it forever. Just know that they're still under there, okay? They're not gone. As long as they live on in your memory, they're still there. Their hearts beat inside all of us. Jeez, I feel like I'm burying someone. Burying someone. Tee hee. You guys are finally free. I can't tell if they're shoes or just socks that she's wearing in the rep pick. I'm gonna assume shoes. I hope she's not performing just in socks. They must get so filthy. I'm going to colour this in and add the stripes after. Feels weird without them now. And it's hard to believe they're gone. Okay, I better add like the strings to the guitar. Still haven't done that yet. I'm adding two strings. Can't fit three. Yeah, three is too crowded. Sort of good, it's just gotta look like that. just is red like this though nice and then this one's got like little laces sort of so cute I think this needs to be a little bit wavier as well So, so nice. Then... I don't know, wait, what's the middle of her dress color supposed to be? Oh, okay, it's like sort of brown. Change the colour on this. Like super emotional version of of the roost. Enjoying it though.
I think a second ribbon needs to go up here. It's like a little mini red one in the corner. Oh, I still got to do these little sticks. Be fairly straightforward though. One's got like half of it is is dipped in chocolate and the other half isn't. You guys aren't ready for the sketch comparison. It's gonna be so satisfying. It's gonna be absolutely delectable. And I think this one just has like stripes on it. This. Oh, so nice. So crisp. Anything else left to render? Ah, oh, yes, this leaf. Let's finish up the berries as well. I actually really like rendering on stream because I never, I never like leave stuff unfinished. Because usually I'm like, oh, this is getting so boring. And then I just, you know, finish it and be like, oh, this is good enough. But when I'm on stream, I like want to stay here. So I just keep working on it and making sure it's, it's up to scratch instead of running away. These berries look really yum. This... Sort of like that. Putting shadow like a little bit over. Highlight it makes them look really glossy. Hold on, let's redo these highlights and make sure they're perfect. Oh my gosh, she has a pomegranate in her hair. Pomegranate cookie and parfait cookie confirmed. There's blueberries in her hair. Blueberry cookie and parfait cookie confirmed. Asking all the important questions. This one's a real banger. Not emo zep. What's emo zep? Why? What? What cookie is next? Okay, the stream is almost gonna end. We're almost done rendering. So how about we do the final poll for next stream's first cookie? So we've got 
strawberry crepe. Mango. Who else do we want to put? Alakazam, is it okay if I call you Zeppelin? No. No. Nuh uh. Sparkling cookie, mint chocolate chip, yeah. Is yeah cookie a thing? Black lemonade. I literally want to put all of them. Me hope for my don't for the person who donated. Wait, if anyone wants their if anyone wants their cookie on the ballot for sure and someone else kicked off, now's your time to donate. Just saying. Now's your time to pull out pull out the coin if you want your cookie on the ballot to be the next one. The one that will make it into fruition. The one that will become a charm, possibly. I'm going to give you a little while. So at the moment we have strawberry crepe, mango, kamiho, one more space. Or else I put a random one in there. Epi cookie. Herb, you're tempting me. Why are you doing this to me? I'm broke. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so many. Crying inside really wants pumpkin. Really, really wants pumpkin. Black lemonade cookie. I'll oh, stop breathing if you don't. Wow. People are gonna vote for it. What was on the? What was on there in the past? Stardust. I don't particularly want to do Stardust. Let's vote for Stardust in the next stream. Vampire cry. I think I might add. Okay, I'm doing. I don't know if this will get picked, but I'm adding my own to fill the space. Sorry, guys. Poor people can't can't chat. I'm just kidding. Oh, strawberry crepe. 50%. Alright, well, I'll let that marinate. I'll let the voting marinate, and I'm going to get on to finishing this cookie drawing. So let's make the eyes a little sparklier. sparkle I reckon
<laughs> oh my gosh, another donation for Kumiho Cookie. Not gonna lie, guys, money kind of talks. Money talks. Let's take a look at this cookie. Her cookie. <gasps> She's really simple to draw as well. She's really, really simple to draw. About a hundred or so of you who voted. Are you about to be overruled by two dollars? Guys, you should vote for Kimiko. Because she's super easy to draw and has nine tails. Wait, would you want me to draw the version of her with nine tails? Or would you want me to draw the version of her with just one tail? Democracy has fallen. Damn right. I personally want to draw Mango. Yeah, I can't- I can't donate to myself, so... I really have no agency in the matter. Might shade the underside of here, actually. Nine tails. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. It would sort of like bulk up the design as well, because she's a very simple- simple design. Do really want strawberry crepe though. Maybe I can draw both next stream. Because I mean, strawberry crepe will surely get voted for again. Surely. As long as you draw her, I'm fine. Which one will you draw first, though? Kamiho. Of course. Okay, so the cookies we're going to draw already set out. Well, look at it this way. If you come back next stream and vote for Strawberry Crepe, I'll draw Strawberry Crepe, okay? And Strawberry Crepe will probably win. Quite a popular cookie. Much more popular than Kumiho, and Kumiho's lost like three times in a row. And you know, I can't be dishonouring my, my paying customers right now. I take, I take cash bribes, I really do. I think and I think I can say that's oh no let's let's fix up this a little bit as well Is there any more details left on Parfait? Is there been one I can- I'm broke, I can donate my love for your art. 
Nice try, buddy. I promise your character will get the vote soon, though. Eventually. I mean, we are drawing every single cookie. We're trying to, at least. I think that's Parfait done. So here's who we have. Here's the full lineup. Hold up, we'll zoom out a little bit more so you can see them. It's not blocked by Zeppi. Looking good. So we've added two to the mix today. We've added this little guy and Parfait. I think they look lovely. Um, I'd honestly, to be honest, I'd love to see Mango here. You've got the chain and bow and so they shark. <gasps> Wait, where? Where's the chain and bow? I don't see a chain and bow. Oh yeah, no, you're so right. Hold on, let me add that. There's Sorbet. Oh yeah, so this is supposed to sort of have like a little bit of a... One of these. Stick around because we still have to do the, the sketch comparison with Parfait. It's a moment we've all been waiting for. Well, what I've been waiting for. I love doing sketch to rendered comparisons. A little chain as well. I know it sort of comes out from underneath here. Okay. So, this is our rendered parfait cookie. But, if we take one look below the surface, here is the sketch that we began with. Whew. Oh my gosh. Look at that difference. That is insane. I mean, you can see where it like all evolved from, but wow. You should sell Josh too as a charm. It's a sticker. So there we have it. Our final cast of characters that we've drawn in this geez, six hour stream. I really thought I would um I really thought I would, you know, get a bit of a life and ended it maybe four hours today, but um I think I just have too much fun drawing. I get too carried away. Thank you so much for bringing the positive vibe to the stream. Um I hope to see you in the next one. It will be next week, okay? Um, hopefully we'll have a new video out before then. We'll draw some new cookies. So get hype. Um, make sure to come back and vote. I'll see you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a lovely week.